Hello, DJ Tezo. <clears throat> Hello everyone, how's everyone today, we shall be starting shortly here, just a few more minutes until one thirty pm and we shall start, well, one thirty pm here, it's 12pm somewhere else. <laughs> 2 p.m. somewhere else, obviously. Yeah. Times are different. Time zones. How do they work? Why do they work? Why do we have them? Because the Earth is freaking huge. <laughs> and definitely not flat. <laughs> Random rambling before the stream start, I guess. How's that for nostalgia? <laughs> Tanker. Okay, we shall start in just a minute here. Oh. So we should be fine. Alright, I think we can start the stream now, so hello and what's going on guys? Welcome to another F1 Challenge VB live stream and we will be continuing from where we left off last night with the Monaco Grand Prix of 1971 and uh, today I'm hoping, actually I'm quite sure we will be able to finish the 1971 season so that's going to be quite fine, cool, I guess, I don't know, uh, in the meantime, check out the links in the description for my social media, you know, join my social media, join join the Discord server if you want to stay in touch with us, with me, 
and with whatever I might be doing. Also, uh, check out uh, there is a link for a straw poll where you can uh, vote for next season's team. So uh, make sure you check that one out as well. So because by the end of today's stream, uh, the uh, straw poll for next season's team is going to end. So make sure to check it out uh, during the course of this stream. Uh, Monaco, the Monaco Grand Prix is next uh, DJ Tezo. So I guess we can jump into it straight away. Looks like there's not a lot of people yet, but I'm sure that people will come on uh, eventually. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the Monaco Grand Prix at Monte Carlo in 1971. Let's get into it. Just a reminder before uh, we get into this is the driver. These are this is the driver standings after two races. Uh, Brent Terbeck is leading by uh, 18 points. He's won the first two. Grand Prix somehow. Uh, Ronnie Pearson is in second with eight points. Oliver Higgs, ourselves, uh, sit in third with six points. Haddon Ganley is in fourth with five points. And then sharing sixth are Joseph Ferten and Rene Weissel. So uh, those are the standings for the time being. Actually, that's fifth and sixth is Pedro Rodriguez. I cannot count anymore. Uh, uh, so yeah, those are the drivers. And we can now move on to the constructors where Tenbeck are leading with Owen Racing Organ Owen Racing Organ Owen BRM uh, in second March Engineering third fourth uh, McLaren our team fifth uh, Gold Leaf Team Lotus and Brabham are in sixth. So those are the standings in the drivers and constructors. So we can now move on to the race itself here in Monaco and I can already see the outcome of this race. It's the same as always. 99% of the AI is going to <laughs> retire. Ah, oh boy. Such a predictable race. Anyway, how is everyone doing today? Fine, everyone. How you're holding up with the Rona? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just skip through practice. We don't need to do that. Get straight into qualifying. Put some fuel in the car. We don't want to leave the pits without that. And speed it up a little bit. At least until the AI puts in a couple of laps. Actually, we'll have to see how the AI fares around this track because it has it has a very dumb uh, quality of going very slowly and it looks like uh, the AI is not going very fast. Uh, that's a, the fastest lap so far is a 3 minute 14.8. That's a very slow time but so I uh, pardon I think that we might end up just skipping through the through the qualifying because I can easily beat that time but anyway let's just go out and get a feel for the track and how the McLaren field feels around Monaco as one of the uh, Yardleys is pulling out Oh, well, that's not a good start. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, that's better, I guess. Up the hill. Uh, 
Look at that. That's a slow moving car. No wonder they take three and a half minutes to finish the lap. Well, three and a quarter, but still. It's not even worth trying to qualify here because they're just so much faster than the AI. Whoa! Touch the inside curbing there. Sent my car flying, and I can almost guarantee you that I can still beat the three minute lap time of Chris Amon. Three minutes, 13.4. So, as soon as we get close to the finish line, I'm going to stop and just automatically go back to the pits by pressing escape. Because it would be unfair like this to continue. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, spider car, spider car. I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Anyway, let's speed through the rest of this qualifying because, well, there's no point in trying to qualify. A lap around this circuit shouldn't be more than about one and a half minutes. And since the AI is taking three minutes, it's obviously It obviously doesn't make sense to qualify, so we'll just start from the back, that's fine. Oh. Bernd Terbeck, they're doing quite well, he's in third at the moment. <laughs> For the start of the Monaco Grand Prix, he's been pretty much dominating the season so far. Hello Kaiser. I'm pretty sure though that uh, given the circuit we're at, uh, <laughs> well, no one's going to finish because that's how the AI works in this game. Monaco is <laughs> like the kryptonite for the AI or something, I don't know. All right, let's, let's jump into the race. 27 laps of Monaco. Let's make sure we have enough fuel to complete the race. Hello, TVEG. Or TV egg, I don't know. Um, okay, right. Let's give it a, let's see how terribly, awfully, Dumb the AI is going to be at the circuit. <laughs> okay, Jackie X is starting from Paul and that's quite a good result for him, I guess. Stewart is in fifth. That kind of ex ex to be expected. I mean, Stewart was a very good driver back in his day. So <laughs> streams are much cooler than videos. Well, I don't know. Are they? I guess in the sense that uh, 
I can interact with you guys in a much more direct manner, probably. But streams are also easier to make, so you only need to press record, well, start stream and then <laughs> there's not much other than to just, you know, do the race. <laughs> the race is, or the video, or whatever you're doing. I'm just rambling. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> All right. No need to rush it because we know what the AI is like around here. Oh. Very slow coming into turn one. There's not a lot of room here to overtake, so I might as well take my time. I'm pretty sure though that by the end of this first lap we, all, we will already jump up a couple of positions by virtue of the AI retiring. Okay. Feels like a funeral procession. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go on the outside here. It didn't make too much of a difference. Okay. That's two positions and someone's upside down. It looks like Mazet. And we are now in P29. As I was saying, the AI is not very bright around here. <laughs> but you've already known that. Oh. And Max has lost control of his car, so that's P28. Not. Okay. Let's try and get around that damage as well, as soon as possible. Oh, he was trying to turn into the hairpin a little bit early. Didn't really work out for him. There's a Lotus there. And already we have a bunch of retirements. We already move up into P22. The AI is very slow coming into turn one here. Not quite sure why, but I'm going to make my way past them. And we are now in P20, chasing after Shenken here. And once again, we can take it easy. There's no point in rushing things at the circuit. In fact, rushing things around here is probably more detrimental than not, so. There goes one of the Brabham's. We gain a couple more positions. Side by side with the yard coming into Tabak, but I I'm not trying to force the issue. Once again, it's not really worth it here.
Okay, that's Schenken out. Actually, even more people are out, so we move up into P13. Already on lap 3 out of 27. Come on, Alford, you're very slow. Next up is Barber. Barber down. Next is, is Dave Charlton in the Yardley. He's having a fight with someone, I'm not quite sure who it is, in front of him. But we are already up in P10 and Dave Charlton bins it. And we're now cheating after Stomelen. Getting a little bit untidy, but managed to keep it under control. And the A is being, as always, dumb. And that allows us to move up into P6. We're already in the points. looking at John Surtees who is just up ahead of us and we're quickly closing in on him for whatever reason he's very slow might have a gearbox problem probably I don't know his engine didn't sound very healthy but then again no engines sound very healthy uh, let's face it the sound is not particularly amazing but we just overtook Mike Donahue on the outside coming into Lowe's hairpin and we're now up in P4 doing quite well for ourselves now for the time being but that's to expect it given the circuit <laughs> Let's not forget about the damn unders here. to rush things on the circuit we can take it quite easy more often than not that's going to be the saving grace around here and Turbeck is out so his looks like his winning days is over are over But that was to be expected, I guess. So we move up into P3 now. Ooh. And we are... Jean-Pierre Beltois is also out, so that's P2. P 
two for us, four po uh, six points if we complete the race. And there's Chris Amon, and that's P1. Nine points if we complete the race, which we obviously will because it's not easy to. I mean, not easy to not win here. You really have to try to not win. No, Terbeck is not immortal, in fact. He's just as mortal as every one of the AI around here. Uh, bonjour, Chris. I don't know what that means, Chris. I do not speak French. Je ne parle pas français. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> okay, lap seven here. And we're leading to Monaco Grand Prix as expected. With Chris Amon falling very rapidly. Oh! That was a dumb mistake. Just lost my front wing. But I'm sure that's not going to affect our race too much around here Even more under steer now without the front wing. That's not good, but I think I can manage to learn how to drive this car now. Well, a little bit more carefully. We don't need as much speed. No, unfortunately, pits do not work in Monaco. But that's okay. A missing front wing will not be a huge detriment to us at this circuit. I mean, I'm still pulling away from Chris Amon quite substantially, so... That's a back marker. Let's get around him. Ooh. Whoa. The underseer is real. Okay. Slowly getting used to how the car handles now without the front wing. We're already on lap nine. We're nearing the halfway point of the race. 
which is good. Oh, whoa. That wasn't planned. Um, <laughs> I think our race is over. That was a dumb mistake. Yeah, our race is definitely over. <laughs> we cannot move from here. Well. <laughs> um. Whoops. <laughs> well, what can I say? Go Chris Amon. Hopefully you do well. Given your real world results, you would deserve to do well here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I guess we can end the Monaco Grand Prix. It didn't go too well. Right, let's see what comes of it. So, Chris Amon wins with Ronnie Peterson in second, Gis Van Lennep third, fourth is Pete Lovely, and everyone else retired, unfortunately. I did as well, so <laughs> only four people managed to win, uh, to complete the Monaco Grand Prix. Well, his engine kind of gave up on him, according to this, so I don't think that's interesting. Oh. During this time, to anyone, could, uh, it could happen to anyone, so... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go check out the championship results. Uh, obviously, Ter Terbeck is still leading the championship, but now with a much smaller gap because Ronnie Peterson is in second with 14 points so he's very very close to taking the lead in the championship Chris Amon is in third we are in fourth Howdy Ganley, Howden Ganley is fifth and sharing sixth are Joseph Ertrene Weissel and Gizwan Lennep hello Victor so those are the drivers standings let's move on to the constructors now where we have Turnback still leading the championship with a March Engineering in second, Owen Racing Organization in third, fourth Equipe Matra, uh, fifth our team McLaren, and sharing six, sixth our Gold Leaf Team Lotus and Netherlands Netherland 30s. Right, so that was the Monaco Grand Prix. Quite a shame that we couldn't win. That was quite a dumb mistake there but oh well I guess it can happen to any any of us and the next race is at Zandvoort I'm looking forward to it but before we get into it let's quickly uh, make sure that we have the proper cars and deliveries and all that for the race so let's do that real quick oh that's 1971 there we go Netherlands is the fourth Grand Prix good and let's just quickly go through these by the way for those of you who asked me last night to uh, uh, switch out Tenbeck because he was so overpowered I cannot he is the <laughs> I checked it this morning and he's the only one who doesn't appear among the drivers that could, that you could swap out during the course of the season so unfortunately he's going to have to stay in there because I'm not going to go into the files and edit files just for that so yeah okay let's move on on to the Dutch Grand Prix in at Zandvoort looking forward to it I always enjoy driving around here so should be fun and let's load the circuit Oh, 
Oh, and it's raining. How nice. Oh, and our car looks a little bit different this time around. Obvious. Well, it should. I guess. So, let's skip all the way to qualifying. As always. And put some fuel in the car. Speed it up a little bit. Speed the session a little bit up to so the AI, AI can put in a couple of laps. Hello Florian. Why is there a lotus sparked in front of me? Go <laughs> there back. <laughs> yeah. Yes indeed, Bob. Yes indeed. Or Rob or whatever you want to be called. <laughs> I'll just call you Kaiser. It's easy. <laughs> okay, let's... Whoa. Um... <laughs> what? Whoa! Shoot! What the? <laughs> hey, it's crazy up in here. <laughs> this is going to be a fun qualifying session. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. We have fun in games. <laughs> we have cars all over the track, crashing every day. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. What are you trying to do? If you're going to go slow, then allow me to go... Okay, Kaiser. We'll be here. I I can promise you that we will not go anywhere. That was a bit scary. Oh, and Terbeck managed to post the fast, fastest lap in qualifying so far. That's <laughs> interesting, I guess. Whoop. Oh, I forgot to say, don't forget to uh, vote for next season's team. Uh, there's a link to a straw poll in the description, so make sure to check that out. Because by the end of the stream, the straw poll will be over. And you will no longer be able to vote for next season's team. So, if you want to have a say in the direction in which... Oliver, Oliver's career goes, then uh, make sure to check out the link. And while you're, while you're at it, why not check out all of my social media links, as well as the Discord server. Okay, so that lap time puts us into P4 for the time being. Let's see if we can improve on that a little bit. Would be nice. Ooh, 
That's not a... Okay, it looks like I will not be improving my time on this lap. I'm done on my delta by over a second. There's no way I can bring that back. Yeah, Terbek is indeed demolishing everything already. Alright, one more qualifying lap and then we'll go straight into the race. Whoa! That Brebham is not parked very well there, but it's fine, I guess. No! Ah, screw it. Let's just get back to the pits and go to the race. It looks like I won't be improving my time and my lap time anytime soon. Oh, hello, selector. Yeah, he might win. Or, you know, he might have an engine blowout as it as he had in Monaco, so <laughs> he might not. Everything's a possibility. A Chris Amon one in Monaco. <laughs> oh, the pit lane is a mess. Okay, let's just speed through the rest of this qualifying session. Oh yeah, that happens too, sometimes. I mean, if I remember correctly, it was 19... Somewhere in the 1960s, I think we had it. I had one, uh, a Monaco race where everyone retired, including myself. Or, well, Andy Higgs. So, that's possible too. <laughs> and I decided not to give points to anyone back then. But since we are now using the in-game scoring system, uh, I don't know. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. Come on. Just a little bit more. Look at that. There's almost 10 seconds between first and second place. That's insane. And then just a couple of tenths between second and third. <laughs> ah, this Terbeck guy is going to completely annihilate the championship this season. Especially if it all he is very lucky and his engine holds up every time. Pardon? Okay, let's jump into the race. Make sure to fill fill our car up with fuel. I don't know if he's in seventy two, but he 
He's obviously in 71. <laughs> But unfortunately, I cannot get rid of him, so without editing the files, so I'm not going to. Uh, okay. Let's jump into it. Yes, one hit wonder. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so. Ronnie. What? Peterson is in pole? That's interesting. Stewart second, Terbeck third, fourth. Danny Holm, Kreliga 25th, sixth. Rodriguez. One start in 71. Okay. Okay, well, my. Well, <laughs> that was then, I guess. Yeah, in our case, he's going to race in the entire season, it seems. <laughs> Since, as I said, there's no uh, option to not have him in the race when you select the drivers, when you uh, pick races. So, uh, unfortunately, he's staying. Well, I... I I would expect him to finish last since he's a pretty much a no name, so. Well, it might have been a non championship race, but uh, back then they were, they were still quite important overall, so. Because a lot of the non championship races. A lot of the circuits used in non-championship races would eventually become circuits used in the actual championship. So doing well there could, was a very good indicator to the drivers and teams how well they could fare there. So, But that's neither here nor there now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, missing my gears there. Okay, we managed to make up a couple of positions here. Well, we lost a few positions and we now we uh, got back into P28 where we started. Let's see if we can overtake Van Len up here before the end of the lap. That would be quite cool. Oh, on the inside. And that's P27 down and dusted. Oh, car under steering severely. And I go wide and lose all that progress, but luckily this is only lap one, so. That's okay, and Vysel is out. We just saw some black smoke, so that's probably, it was probably his engine. We already have our first technical retirement. So that's P31 for us. Now it's time to try and catch up to the guys ahead. Okay. Come on. 
that, that was dumb, didn't need to do that. Anyway, uh, this new car we, we've just received this race seems to be a bit more competitive than the model we had in the first few races. First three races, I should say. I'm quite happy about that. Seems that I'm quite I am keeping up with at least the back of the field quite easily. Hopefully we'll be able to do well through this race and I saw someone retire another person retired didn't quite catch his name. But we move up into P29 now. And I try to get around this STP. There we go. Whoa, he pulls in front and breaks immediately, breaking my front wing. And now we have to race without a front wing for the remainder of the race. Thank you, AI, for brake checking me. Whoa. Anyway. Oh, damn it. Now without the front wing, the car doesn't turn anymore. And unfortunately, the pit on this circuit are also broken, so there's no way I can replace my front wing. Unlike, Mo unlike Monaco, where you can pretty much survive without the front wing, this is not a good place to be without a a front wing, especially in a car that's very understeering. But I'll try and do my best. Yep, Pete Lovely Hansing is back. Looks like we caught up to the pack again, which is quite nice. Time to see if how or rather how much. Time to see how much this the missing front wing is going to whoa that was crazy <laughs> almost almost did a crash there <laughs> but anyway we're up in p23 by virtue of someone's engine blowing out and holding up the field Nani Gali seems to be wanting to get around us and Francois Sever is also out so that's P22 for us quite good Through the acid and into the hairpin, we go. Let's see if we can catch and overtake Maze. That would be quite nice. The car seem, still seems fairly, seems fairly competitive, even without its front wing, which is good. I'm happy with that. I'm not all that happy about the fact that I'm not as fast, as fast as I 
could be for the corners, but oh well. Then someone else retired, so we move up into P21. Oh. Had a bit of contact there with Maze, but we're fine, both of us. And uh, McLaren seems to have more power and more speed than Maze's car, so we get around him. Oh, nearly lost control of the car coming into the hairpin. Well, the McLaren is doing pretty well at the moment. It seems to be driving quite well without a front wing, all things considered. Who knows? Maybe current day McLaren should consider getting rid of their front wing as well. Maybe it will dri drive faster. <laughs> Get rid of some of the drag. Oh, and it looks like we are about to be lapped. By obviously Ted Beck or whatever his name is. And the North can do that. <laughs> uh, probably he could. Okay, we're closing in on Peach Lovely now. So we should be able to overtake him soon. Yep. There we go. And that's P18. Whoa. That was wide and miss shifted. Come on, you want to overtake me, overtake me already. There we go. So that's Terbeck right in front of us. He's just lapped us. Best driver no one's ever heard of. <laughs> All right. lap 8 of 24 and we are in P18 at the moment and slowly catching up to Henri Pescarolo which is good new Marvel superhero <laughs> yeah Oh, 
He's probably giving the Flash a run for his money. <laughs> As the new fastest superhero. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. Pete loves is kind of breathing down my neck, but we should be fine as long as I don't make too many stupid mistakes. Which when it comes to me, it's kind of a hard thing to do. <laughs> but, I'll try my best not to be dumb. I, but I can't guarantee anything, so... I guess we'll just have to wait it out and see how things turn out. On the plus side, we are slowly reeling Ari Pescarola in, so... That's okay. Does it for turn one here? The back snapped a little bit, but I managed to keep it pointing in the right direction, thankfully. Oh, and Emerson Fittipaldi is out of the race, so that's going to be P17 for us momentarily. Good afternoon, HRD. Okay, lap 12 of 24, we're in P16, it looks like more than just one guy retired, 
I'm not going to complain about it. Better yet, we are slowly but surely reeling in Henri Pescarolo. Oh, and something happened to Pete Lovely, he's falling back. Not that I'm complaining. He was bringing down my neck and it was putting a lot of pressure on me. At least now I can relax just a little bit. Drive properly, not as defensively as I, I've been driving. Oh, and that a blue flag. I'm going to let him through as soon as possible. Like right here. There we go. I think that's Jackie Stewart. It looked like... Sure looked like his helmet. Oh, and Pete Lovely's caught up with us again. And Ari Pescarolo managed to pull away from us. But I'm sure that by the time Jackie catches up to him and has to lap him as well, he's going to lose time just like I did, so overall there won't be such a big gap as I lose the back end coming into this second hairpin. The car nearly swaps end on me, but I managed to keep it <laughs> pointing in the right direction again. Oh, and Ronnie Peterson is now out of the Dutch Grand Prix, so we shall be moving up into P715 momentarily. There we go. Getting closer and closer to the top 10. Of course, we need to be 6th or higher to score points. But I'm not all that concerned about points at the moment. All I want is to get away from the guys behind me and I'm not able to as I lose control of the car coming into the hairpin once again and that's a lot of places lost. Well, three to be precise. Oh boy, that was not good. Need to be a little bit more careful when downshifting. The car really likes to swap ends on me. Oh! I don't know what it is, but the car is starting the car is starting to be more and more difficult to control. Uh hey Bob, uh well the only thing you missed is me being an idiot and driving like an idiot, so <laughs> That's pretty much the biggest thing you missed. Oh, get off the curbing. 
Oh. How nice, we're about to be lapped. Wait a few other cars. That's a Ferrari. Come on, go. And that's another Ferrari. Undersir is so unreal in this car. Anywho. Hello F1 Gamer. Oh, I can see black smoke ahead in front. That's a Ferrari out of the race. That's another Ferrari going into the pits, I think. So those are two retirements, one after the other. Okay. And that's Terbeck. Lapping us for the second time this race. The power of Terbeck. Not many people know this, but Terbeck was actually a genius driver. <laughs> he really knew how to coast, to bring out everything out of his car. To the point where he would be nigh unbeatable unless his car suffered damage <laughs> and that my friends is the history of Terbeck whoever the hell he was <laughs> oh so Jackie X is out of the race as well as Jackie Stewart so we move back up into P15. Hello, Owen. Uh, a turn back might, might actually be the creator of this mod. That's probably why he's uh, winning. Hello Johannes. Oh, that's a dumb mistake. You used to be Scandinavian. Oh yeah, I remember that name. Oh boy, this race is starting to get worse and worse for us. Our only saving grace is the AI being super dumb. Seriously, there's another one behind me. Just go. Yes, it does. It does work on Windows 10. In fact, I am running it on Windows 10. used to be game lunch one remember me uh sorry i don't seem to recall that name 
Anyway, Pete Lovely is out of the race, so we move up into P14. Lucky us. Not much left of the race now, so I need to. No, this is in fact indeed. This is indeed Zandvoort. The original Zandvoort, the good Zandvoort. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very good track. Yeah, around 80 gigabytes. No, Johannes, it doesn't need a good graphics card. I mean, look at it. It looks like crap. These are 2004 graphics, so... <laughs> uh, Terbeck is leading. <laughs> the almighty Terbeck. Terbeck really is a miracle worker. <laughs> He's unstoppable. Oh, and John Surtees is out of the race now. So that's going to be an extra place for us and there we go that's P13 I don't know, probably Terbeck, <laughs> given how OP he seems to be. Come on, get away from me. 
you and your mantra. Another blue flag. And that's uh, Terbeck, which means this is our final lap. <laughs> so that's the end of the Dutch Grand Prix. Thank you, Johannes, for the subscription. Have I ever considered using another game like a third Corsa or a or... Well, I did uh, stream uh, some project cars and some dirt rally 2.0 about a few weeks ago. I also streamed a little bit of Automobilista too, uh, about two weeks after it came out. And I am actually going to stream other games as well at some point. But for the time being, the main focus is going to be around this game. No, I do not have an Xbox. Unfortunately. And to be honest, I don't really plan on getting one. Or I, or I might, I don't know. Ich nicht spreche Deutsch, so I have no idea what the hell that means. So let's see the result. Uh, Burn Terbeck. <laughs> Push him out. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so uh, Burn Terbeck obviously <laughs> wins the Dutch Grand Prix with Pedro Rodriguez in second, uh, Joseph Ert third, Jean Pierre Beltois uh, finished fourth. Well, kind of finished, I guess. Mario on 35th, Tim Schenken 6th. And... Well, I guess a lot, quite a few people managed to kind of finish. Although we were all of a lot of laps behind. Anyway, let's see the championship standings. I mean, we know who's winning the championship. Uh, Tenbeck, obviously, is winning with Ronnie Peterson in second. Third is shared between Pedro Rodriguez and Chris Amon. Fourth, Joe Siffert. Fifth, and Oliver Higgs, almost said Andy. And sixth is Howden Ganley. Uh, so those are the drivers. Let's now... Yes, he did, but uh, he, <laughs> he wasn't... No one knew who he was before or after, so <laughs> for him to be doing this well, is, it's kind of uh, odd, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, complain, whatever. 
let him have his victory, at least in the virtual world, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the constructors. Obviously, Turnback is winning the constructors championship as well, with own racing organization in second, March third, fourth, Equipe Matra fifth. Is our team McLaren and sharing sixth are Lotus and thirties, or rather Netherland thirties. Okay, so let's move on. The next race is the French Grand Prix at Paul Ricard. But before we get into the race, let's quickly swap cars. So we have the proper cars, liveries, and all that stuff. Uh, French Grand Prix is number five. Let's go quickly through this. And get on with our lives. Or the championship, as it were. Is it though, really? Maybe it's outside the game or besides the game or near the game have you ever thought about that EA have you EA <laughs> oh boy don't mind me okay let's move on and into our next race don't need to go through this we just been through the Standings, so I, I'm hoping that everyone saw the standings. It's fake Mexico City. <laughs> uh, I guess, but not really. But yes, but not really. Did you just dab on my stream? Seriously? Ah. Uh. Anyway, let's move on to qualifying. Put some fuel into this boy, big boy. Uh, speed up the time a little bit. Let the air put in a couple of laps. See how they do and see what, how we stack up to them. Uh, take that to the uh, modders. <laughs> no, we're not driving the turbine car. This is how the devs made, the mod developers made it though. So. Ah, uh, whatever. Actually, let me put on some intermediates because it looks like it looks like it's wet. Go Turbeck, yeah. He's probably going to smash the field again. He's good at that. Doki. Time to What? Is he good in the rain? I don't know. We'll I guess we'll find out. Sideways coming out of the hairpin. Oh, and I can see a massive rooster tail up ahead. Seems like the track is really, really wet. 
even on the dry line. Well, it is really a dry line if it's producing massive rooster tails. I don't know. Just in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Just in case I forgot where I was. So let's see if we can put up a decent lap here. Down to second gear. I'm down to first for the hairpin. Back trying trying to get away from us but I managed to keep it under control and time for a nap until we reach the next corner <laughs> Yeah, why? Is that smoke over there? Is something burning around the circuit? Are people making barbecue at Paul Ricard? What a weird place to have a barbecue at. Cut off most of the track lap times around one minute and it was even more boring than the modern version. Oh. Well, I guess. Let's see if we can improve on this time. Probably not. And amazingly enough, Terbeck is not in pole position. Pedro Rodriguez is. Uh, just down on F1 2019. Good for you. I'd like to nominate Indianapolis as the worst circuit. Didn't even race F1 cars around it. Ah. Uh, yeah, I didn't race. I didn't race F1 cars, but was still part of the F1 championship back in nineteen in the fifties for whatever reason. And points around there actually counted towards the championship. So the fifties were were weird times. Okay, 
<laughs> the fifties were very weird times. attempt at qualifying. Now what? It's fine. Don't think I'll be able to improve by much anyway, so I think we'll just jump to the race itself. Whoa! if you could go up here. Well, you know what? This is my new pit box. What do you say about that? <laughs> the Annapolis GP circuit would like to have a word. Yeah. Oh, that's actually an ambulance. Uh, when you think of Indianapolis, do you think of the Oval? Uh, I think of both the Oval and the Grand Prix circuit. Anyway, let's speed through the rest of the qualifying session. Yeah, that's true. And they use two of the oval corners in MotoGP. <laughs> That's quality over. Let's fill this puppy up with fuel. That should be fine. Soft compound, it looks like it's dry outside, so yeah. We are good to go, I guess. For round five of the 1971 Formula One season, the French Grand Prix here at Paul Ricard. And I can see Terbeck on the front row there besides a Lotus and I'm pretty sure that the Tyrrell of Jackie Stewart but we'll find out shortly yep it is indeed Jackie Stewart and that's the Lotus of Emerson Fittipaldi so uh, Stewart Fittipaldi and Terbeck uh, on front on the front row <laughs> Uh, I mean, is anyone uh, even surprised at this point? <laughs> we are already halfway through the season, almost halfway through the season, and the only race where uh, Terbeck did poorly was the Monaco Grand Prix, and even that was because his engine gave up, probably because he was trying so hard. <laughs> but anyway... Hopefully, we'll do a little bit better this time around. Haven't had much success this season so far. It's kind of a letdown given how well we did in Oliver Higgs's uh, in, uh, debut season. 
But uh, I think we'll have to wait and see how things pan out for us. Oh, look at that. I was five seconds slower than the next slowest car. And we are off. Or not. Okay, let's see if we can gain a few more positions around here. The AI is very slow, I don't know what its deal is, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to try and snatch as many positions now and worry about everything else later. Oh, AI pushing each other off the circuit as you do. I don't quite understand how atheists come into all of that, but okay. Man, he's managing to keep up his speed quite easily on the on driving on off road. Which is quite Impressive given that it slows me the right down whenever I go off onto the dirt. Is that Marmaduke in front of us? I don't know. Probably. I might stop and ask him next time around. <laughs> oh. Yellow flags. Mike Donahue is out, so we move up into P29. Hooray for us! Yay! Slowly reeling in Joe Bonnier. in front of me is not a good idea Joe okay there we go I just got past Joe Bonnier on the other item which would be next shift down into first gear for the final corner and that's lap number two down and starting lap three.
out of 19. Joe Bonner just managed to overtake us again. But, I managed to do a switch back on him. Unintentional switch back. And got back in front of him. Also, there was a car at the side of the road. No, I didn't catch who it was, but whoever he was, he retired and we are in front of him. Oh, and uh, that's not safe for work. <laughs> uh, two cars there humping each other. And a few more retirements. It, well, at least one more retirement with Henri Pescarolo. So that should move off us up into P24 soon enough. Oh, Clay Regatron is also also that's P23. for lap 4 of 19 at the French Grand Prix here at the Paul Ricard circuit we are in P23 out of 32 behind us is Joe Bonnier just 4 seconds down and ahead of us is Mazet a good 12 seconds so there's a lot of catching up to do. Hopefully I'll be able to catch up. If not, you know, there's always a retirement. <laughs> the saving grace of the Higgs family's racing careers. Retirement. through this left-hander that's going to lose us a lot of time oh boy Pedro Rodriguez is out of the French Grand Prix, so that should move us into uh, into P21. Well, I mean P22. Sorry, can't even read anymore. Yep, that is indeed P22. I did that on purpose but I didn't <laughs>
Woo wee! Time for a coffee break. <laughs> okay, coffee break is over because we have corners now. Well, unfortunately, MS8, I don't have time to do videos anymore, so... You'll have to get used to live streams or find something else to watch, I don't know. But hey, look at the bright side, at least do doing these live streams we can get through all of these seasons a lot quicker and Chris Amon is out so we shall move up into P20 momentarily which is quite cool a pastis <laughs> break would seem more appropriate yeah probably <laughs> Maybe some, uh, throw, throw in some croissant as well, right? Okay, hope you brought your newspapers with you guys because this is a long straightaway. <laughs> Oh, well, that's an interesting bit of trivia. <laughs> and Mike Butler is out, so that's going to be P19 for us soon enough. Yep, indeed, that's P19. Oh right, I keep forgetting to remind you guys. Don't forget to vote for next season's team. There's a link in the description that will take you to a throttle where you can do so. And you might want to act quick as the throttle will end as soon as the stream is over tonight. So yeah, you might want to act act quickly. Anyway, Giswan Lenup is now out of the Grand Prix as well, so we move, we move up into P18. back onto this very long straight. Time to have a drink. Cheers. Not good. Well, 
kind of relative to say that, given that. But it's probably going to be a lot, a few more retirements before the end of the race, so. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Circuit Paul Ricard. Yay! Do this. Lap eight out of nineteen. Kind of alone here. In P eighteen. There's nothing in front and nothing behind us. It's only our little McLaren and ourselves to keep us company. Turn in, you dog. This understeer is so annoying. Down to first gear four, the final corner. And that lap eight, down and dusted, done and dusted. That she came, but it's come on, and the car is stuck. Okay, we're moving once again. And we have a blue flag. Hooray! Is that Turbeck? Come on. No, it's Jackie Stewart. Oh, Jackie. Oh, slow it down a little bit. it again that's my super strength driving like a knobhead what's your superpower oh 
That was a terrible exit out of turn out of the last corner. control of the car again lucky luckily in 1974 the French Grand Prix will move to Dijon Prenois the best circuit ever <laughs> well I don't know about that I quite enjoy money call oh and then he hold me out of the race but uh, yeah Dijon Prenois is a little bit more fun to drive around than this at least for me, so I'm looking forward to Dijon. Plus, I love like Dijon mustard, so. <laughs> Money called the spawn of Satan. Why? It's very fun to drive around there. At least I enjoy driving around there. the thing I'm not supposed to do looking at chat whilst driving uh, Clermont Ferrand is the best looking for sure uh, yeah I guess it is I mean, Spa Francorchamps was just road circuit until 1994 or Looks like we have the slipstream. That should be an easy overtake. Yes, it is. So we're now in P16. Lucky us. Good. Oh, and there's a yellow flag around here. I'm not sure what for. Didn't see any any car at the side of the track, so who knows? Anyway, this is lap no, 12 out of 19. Slowly getting closer to the end of the race.
Okie dokie. Slow down a little bit. Ooh, my hundred is out of the race and I lose control of the car coming into that corner. Come on you dog. We lose 16th once again. This I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to get it back. Unless Pete Lovely retires at some point. Oh boy. forgot about Mario Andretti's retirement so that's P16 once again but I don't I don't think we'll be able to catch Pete Lovely anymore unfortunate but I guess I'll live with it Somehow, oh, and I downshift too early again, which caused it the car to swap ends. I'm definitely not going to catch up to Pete Lovely anymore. Oh, come on. This under here is so bloody annoying. Mate, if you don't have enough room there to lap me, I don't know where you'd have. Really, Matra? Now I'm starting to get pissed. He had the entire freaking bro to lap me, but he didn't. He just stood behind me like a freaking twat. Oh, come on. What the hell is wrong with this car all of a sudden? Just keeps breaking traction every single time I shift down into second or third oh, come on this is ridiculous come on Well, John Surtis is out, so that's P15 for us. Not like that, that would do us any good, but oh well. Just a few more laps left in the race. Oh boy.
finally decide to act properly, stupid car. Oh, and Jackie X is out of the race. So that should be P15, 14, sorry, momentarily. That's P14 as Terbeck laps us for the umpteenth time. Can't try to swap ends on me again. Luckily, this time I was able to catch it. Stay on track, Mephisto. That was Jackie Stewart lapping us for I think the second time oh and the race is over hallelujah I'm not even mad this was starting to get ridiculous sure what happened to the car in the last 
five blasts or so, but it just didn't want to behave properly. Anyway, the race is over and we managed to finish in P14 by virtue of AI retirement, as always. Drunk on pastis, probably. <laughs> I mean, I guess there was a little bit of action in the first half of the race, and then everything started to go to shit. some ways there was a little bit of ex excitement in the race and then it all went down the toilet that's pretty much all of my races so nothing new there But I'm pretty sure you didn't come here for my driving skills. of that race so obviously Terbeck wins the uh, French Grand Prix with Jackie Stewart in second Francois Sever third Francois Sever third fourth Joseph Ert, fifth Rene Weissel and sixth is Howden Ganley and it looks like quite a few people managed to actually complete the race well 14 to be exact so let's move on and see the championship results then, I guess. Uh, obviously, Terbeck is leading the champ championship and at this point is, I think he's pretty much set to winning the 1971 World Championship. Uh, Ronnie Peterson is second. Joseph Ert third. Fourth is shared between Pedro Rodriguez and Chris Amon. Fifth is shared between... Oliver Higgs, Jackie Stewart, Rene Weissel, and Halden Ganley. And sixth is shared between uh, Seve and Van Lennep. So those are the drivers. Let's move on to the constructors. And here we have Turnback leading the championship, obviously, with Owen Racing Organization in second. March, Alpha Engineering third, fourth, Equipe Matra fifth. Tyrrell and sixth is shared between McLaren and Gold Team Gold Team Gold Leaf Team Lotus. Wow. <laughs> Took me a while until I was able to say that. Anyway, our next race is the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Hopefully we'll do a little bit better here because it is an uh, Oliver's home Grand Prix, so uh, here's hoping we do well. But before we jump into it, let's uh, once again, switch 
make sure that we have the proper cards for the season. And that is number six. And with that we are entering the second half of the season. Which is nice. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and uh, follow me on social media. Also, don't forget to vote for next season's team uh, as the straw poll is going to end the moment this, this live stream ends. So uh, make sure to check that link out as well. And let's jump into this, load up the next race. Don't think we need to go through this. We all already saw those results. And let's see. Yeah, the turbac makes my suffering quicker. Yeah, I guess that's a plus. Uh, anyways, I'll be back in just a minute. I need to take a short a very quick break what the hell was that <laughs> window back by the way that's it that's some fresh air in it also pull the blinds so I'm starting to shine on my monitor and it's getting quite difficult to see oh. <coughs> It's raining cars, <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, I just noticed. My pedals are squeaky and no one's telling me ever anything about it. Especially my brake pedal, I, sh I need to lubricate those at some point. Anyway. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> and 
Anywho, let's put some fuel in the car. Speed up the qualifying and then go out ourselves. Time we go out and try and qualify for better or for worse. Pardon. Pardon. Come on. And it's our to, time to start our flying lap. See how well we can do here. Looks like at the moment Chris Amon is in pole position with 128.45. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get anywhere close to that, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. I think I'm hearing an engine behind us. Whoever it is, I'm hoping they will not interfere with our flying lap. That would be annoying. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a very slow lap for us. Oh well. But then again, when do we ever qualify decently? Oh, that's actually P6, not bad. Okay, let's see if we can improve on that. At least by a little bit. And then we'll jump into the race. Okay, we're up on our delta time, that's good. By six tenths. That's quite a significant improvement. Yeah, it's still not pole, pole position time, but 
it should help us maybe get up in fifth. We'll see. Oh, and our delta time was improved further. Almost one second faster than our previous lap now. And that is P5. I'm quite happy with that, so... I think I'm going to settle for that. Don't want to waste too much time in qualifying. It's rarely we really worth it. Since the game usually finds ways of screwing everything up eventually, so. Yeah. Speed through the rest of the qualifying session and then we'll go race. Yeah. Should be fun. We really need a good result here. This is, after all, Oliver's home Grand Prix, so some points wouldn't go amiss. Plus, it would help us in the championship, given how poorly we've done in this season. Oh, and look who's taken pole position. Burnt Terbeck. What a freaking surprise. <laughs> okay, that's, that's quality over. And if I wouldn't know the game, I'd say that this is the f these are the final standings for the race. But as soon as I click next session, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see something else there. So, yeah, called it. And we drop down to 28th and all that good stuff. Anyway... I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe the modders just made his AI be the best. I don't know. That's a joke or something. Who knows? But he is the best. Bonjour, once again, Chris. Um, okay, let's make sure we have fuel in our car. <laughs> we don't want to run out again. All right. Pardon. A nice sip of beer. I don't think they're typos. I think that 
it was done intentionally as a joke or something it's a little bit too on the nose to be honest to be to be just a typo but anyway let's jump into this the British Grand Prix oh look at who's in pole Francois Sever well done Joseph for second and Brent Terbeck uh, bringing up the front row of the grid Jackie Stewart only managed to qualify in six so uh, he's going to have quite a bit to of work to do to get up in front but I'm sure he can do it oh boy looking forward to this race Silverstone is always a fun place to race at even in this uh, simplified version of the track uh, yeah probably <laughs> well you know to each his own everyone has their fantasies so <laughs> I don't know it's probably part of that <laughs> maybe this was the mother's fantasy to see turn Terbeck win a champion. What the hell is the camera doing? Uh, we're just looking at the gra gravel trap for whatever reason. Oh boy. Never change, F1 challenge. Never change. Oh. Uh, there's yellow flags already, of course. Oh, and we're slowly starting to see the pretty much the staple of the 1970s cars, the tall air boxes. We have one right there on the on that uh, Matra of Jean-Pierre Beltois. And we obviously are going to have even taller air boxes later on in the, the decade. Well, we are already up in P21, which is quite nice. Hopefully we'll be able to finish in the points this time around. Oh. Mazet taking a look at us in the inside. We even make a little bit of contact, but we're still okay though. Okay. Come around the final corner to start lap two. We are now in P22. Having a look at Maze. Hopefully we can out break him into this corner. No, we cannot. So he gets to keep 21st for the time being. There are yellow flags. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to take it since it slowed down the cars ahead, and that means we get to get overtake uh, Maze and maybe even Thirties or not. Oh, he's slow out of uh, what would eventually become uh, Bridge. 
corner. And we move up into P20. Having a look at Mike Donahue. Uh, a few people return and we move up into P18. Just about to overtake a Lotus. And we contact. Uh, but we're fine. There's an STP right beside us. It's uh, a barber, but we managed to get around him, so we are now P17. Once again, looking at Rene Weissel's Lotus up ahead. Oh, someone spun. That was Nani Galdi, it seems, and we gain another position. We move up into P16. Still trying to get around Weissel. Weissel goes wide and that allows us to overtake both him and Butler because he went wide as well. So that's P14. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Next up is Jean-Pierre Beltois in the Matra. Pierre Beltois overtakes Denny Holm, our teammate, and soon I'm going to overtake our teammate as well. I'll break a little, break a little bit early into cops there, but it worked out. So we are now P13. And Jean-Pierre Beltois now is now pulling away quite significantly. Not sure if we'll be able to match pace with him, but we'll try. Yellow flag once again around here. Although I didn't really see any cars anywhere. That's a little bit wide, wider than I than I would have liked. That allowed Danny Holm to close in the gap a little bit. Also allowed Beltois to increase the gap to us. Okay. So this is lap 5 out of 23. Down to second gear for what would eventually become the Maggots and Beckets complex. What will, not would. Messing up my tenses. Uh, and Jean-Pierre Beltois is now well and truly pulling away. He's almost three seconds up ahead. Don't seem to be able to keep up with him. Kind of a shame. I would really like to see some points on the board. I haven't scored anything since Spain, I believe. So now we are on lap 6, 
still trying to catch up to Jean-Pierre Beltran, who's overtaken Claire Regatoni at some point. But Claire Regatoni regained his position. So we are once again looking at Pierre Beltran. Oh, nearly lost control of the car coming into the tight right hander. That allowed Danny Holm to get closer to us. Okay, Team Timo Schenken and Beltois are having a battle. That's good, that should slow him down. Allowing us to get closer in. Although it seems like Beltois is really going for it this time. He, he's pulling away from Schenken. And we are closing in on him. So at least there's something good in this. I guess. Touched the inside of that corner there. Slowed us down just a tad. Oh. Schenken very slow out of that corner. Slowing me down as well in the process. But we managed to get around him so that's P11. And we're... Now once again looking at Jean-Pierre Beltran with about two seconds up the road. But he seems to be very fast, at least compared to us, so I don't think we have uh, a realistic chance of overtaking him. But obviously I'm still going to try. Oh, and for some reason it, uh, Beltran is slowing down. He might have a problem with his car. This could be a, an opportunity for us. Beltran once again pulling away. Here on lap 8 of 23 of the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Okay. Looks like we got a pretty decent run out of that corner. Can we keep our momentum through Lafayette? Uh, the final corner, yes we can, and we overtake Jean-Pierre Beltois. That's good. We move up into P10. That would be point if we were in the in modern times, but we are not. We are in 2070, 1970, 1970, sorry. <laughs> Almost in 2070, 
So we need to be within the top six, four points. Pedro Rodriguez is up in front. Driver champ, champion of 1970. He's not doing a very good job of uh, defending his title. And there Jean-Pierre Beltois managed to overtake us for a fraction of a, th of a second, but went wa wide out of the corner. And we managed to re-assert dominance. Okay, lap 10 out of 23. Oh, contact with the barrier on the inside there. Don't want to do that too much. It might end up costing us dearly. It would be a shame to throw away all the work we've done so far. With the risk of jinxing this entire race, we've been doing quite very well, in fact, until now, so far in the race at least. And now let's hope I didn't jinx it. And Beltois once again try trying a move on the outside there and going wide. So, so have I. But now Beltois has fallen behind quite significantly. So we should be able to pull away wide again. I'm trying to build a gap, a good gap between ourselves and Beltois. I want to be able to breathe a little bit, I guess. That would be nice. But the massive unders here on this McLaren is making life quite difficult indeed. Okay. Just five tenths of a second behind Pedro Rodriguez now. He's going away a little bit, but should be able to get closer in just a couple of laps maybe even this lap, who knows Beltois has caught up to us once again can't say I'm too happy about that but not much I can do about it just try to keep focused and try to make as few mistakes as possible now and he overtakes us again but we managed to get a better drive out of that right hander oh he overtakes us again but we once again managed to slip past him and now right underneath the, uh, Rodriguez's gearbox and there's a blue flag pull to the side and let Terbeck uh, go ahead and in the process we managed to overtake Pedro Rodriguez so we are now up in P9 and it's sh shifted down into second for cops I have no idea why not paying attention next car up ahead is Emerson Fittipaldi who is about six seconds ahead of us so that's going to be quite a, a Herculean task to close in that gap Rodriguez taking a look on the inside in his 
Yardly BRM, but we managed to. He goes wide, and we managed to ah, regain that position. Oh, and someone's retired. I think that was. I don't know who it was, but uh, that's P8 for us. I'm not going to complain. Just two spots below the point. And Pedro Rodriguez and Pierre Beton has have fallen behind quite significantly. They're over two seconds behind us now. So that's real good. It means that we can breathe a little bit. Not too much though. I'm sure they're going to try and put the pressure back on us as soon as they can. And now next is Chris Amon, who is at the si on the side of the road there, and we move up into P7. Oh, and I missed shift there. That's not good. Ah, oh, damn it. All that work thrown out the window with a stupid mistake. Luckily we didn't crash and I didn't lose my front wing. Damn it. Oh, easy. Okay, looks like we caught up quickly to Timoshenkin at least. We're stuck behind a back marker. Come on. That. P9 and P8, Pedro Rodriguez is very slow all of a sudden. I think he might have some problems with his car. So we're now looking at Jean-Pierre Beltois. With about two and a half seconds up, up ahead of us. Hopefully, I'm hoping we'll be able to close in that gap and regain 7th once again. But we'll see. As we start now, start lap 14 out of 23. Come on, little McLaren. I know you can do it. Please be the McLaren Mercedes you always wanted to be. Not McLaren Honda. Please. <laughs> Act like a good McLaren, not like a bad one. Okay, slowly closing in the gap on... Jean-Pierre Beltoin. I'm happy to see that. A lot of yellow flags all over the circuit now. Okay, we're now once again up with Jean-Pierre Beltois. Easy with the downshift, we don't want to spin the car again. I don't think we could, we would be able to recover again. quite as easily and quickly as we did this time. It's quite a miracle that I managed to get back to this point as quickly as I did. Uh, 
Okay. A very good run on Jean Pierre Beltran. And we're back up in P7. That's very good. Let's hope. Let's hope we can keep this position now. Ronnie Peterson would be next. But he's about 23 seconds up the road. So that's very far ahead. I don't think we'll be able to get into P6 unless something happens up in front. Beltoin all over our rear wing now. Trying to regain the position he's lost to us, obviously. MP44, not good enough for me. Ah, well. I guess I... I would rather take an MP4 4 than whatever the hell whatever McLaren are driving now and Jean-Pierre Beltois managed to overtake us once again not happy about that but let's try to keep up with him it looks like this is mostly going to be a fight between myself and Beltois until the end for 7th unless someone retires up ahead and Terbeck is lapping really really quickly now soon he's going to overlap us for the second time So that gives me very little room to catch back up. And Beltois seems to have found some more speed in that mantra of his because he is pulling away quite significantly now. All the while I'm trying I'm starting to drive more and more cautiously because we're getting very close to the end of the race. I wouldn't want to throw away all the hard work I've done so far. That would be quite a shame indeed. Okay, looks like we're closing in on Beltois once again. But not, but only by a very little margin. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. No, it's not. Oh, he had a very bad exit out of cops, and someone up ahead is having problems. I can see black smoke coming out of a car. That looks like Denny Holm, I think. And that doesn't really help us because Denny, I've overtaken Denny Holm a long time ago. Come on, little McLaren, come on. Don't let me down now. Oh, 
Okay, it just started lap 19, still in P8, still chasing after P11 clock. Oh, that's a good run out of cops. But not good enough. Damn it. Where the hell did he find all that speed all of a sudden? Come on, come on, McLaren, come on. Give me speed, more speed. Be the championship winning car, I know you want to be. Come on. Go, go, go. Lap 20. I think this might be the penultimate lap of the race. Is that a Formula 3 thousand engine? I don't know. I really don't know. It might be, it might not, I don't know. Actually, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, McLaren were using Ford Cosworth DSV engines. So it should be quite good, should be fast. The DFV is pretty much ruled the 70s. Okay, coming around to start lap 21. And we'll soon find out if this is indeed our final lap or not. Okay, it le looks like we, we might still have one lap left. And there's still a chance to catch Beltois then. A little bit twitchy coming into Beckett. Locked up the front left, uh, right I mean. Come on, turn in. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little McLaren. Yes, 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 yes. Good drive out of that corner come on oh. Oh. I have to lift there because there's a lot of under there and I cannot keep up on momentum otherwise so that's P7 as Terbeck crosses the line to win the British Grand Prix there's no chance on how we can get sixth unfortunately P7 
Peterson is very far up the up ahead. Let's at least try and finish in seventh. Fortunately, we couldn't bring any points in at our home Grand Prix, but seventh would still be good. Come on, come on, McLaren, keep it up. No, no, no! Contact, contact, contact! Ah! He drove right into the side of me. Ah! Come on! The car doesn't want to turn through that corner, damn it! I think that's it. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Gosh darn it. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a fun little battle. Didn't get to keep 7th place, but that was a fun battle with the 12th road this entire race. Well, that was... I was enjoying that. Hello, Bronny. Oh... I quite enjoyed that race, to be honest. Whew. Too bad we couldn't get 7th though. If only Beltois didn't hit me coming into this corner, I probably could have, would have been able to keep 7th, but alas, that didn't come to pass yeah pretty much that's kind of what happened tanker he was faster on the straight I was better through the corners oh anyway that was fun I, I enjoyed that race thoroughly see guys <laughs> not all races on this channel are, are garbage every once in a while there's a good race as well <laughs> yeah. most races are garbage though so <laughs> hashtag not all races yep That's a good hashtag, my my friend. <laughs> okay, so obviously Bernd Terbeck uh, wins the uh, British Grand Prix because of course he does. Jackie Stewart finishes second, so at least one Brit Brit British guy is up there. Francois Sever finishes third. Joseph Hurt fourth, fifth. Mario Andretti, Ronnie Pearson sixth, uh, and. Well, Jean-Pierre Beltois, 7th, and we finished in 8th. The last person to finish the race was uh, Francois Mazet in 12th, and everyone else retired. Oh, sorry, Claire Gazzoni was still in the race. He was 17 laps behind, and Gies van Lennep was also in the race, who was 22 laps behind. I think... Uh, Geese van Lennep just completed one lap and then decided to have a barbecue somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Terbeck is still winning every single race. Although he did uh, have an engine failure in Monaco, so he retired there. Chris Amon won the Monaco Grand Prix. All right. Let's move on and see the championship standings. Uh, Tenbeck is 
well, <laughs> leading the championship. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can pretty much. I'm pretty sure that at this point we can call uh, call Terbeck the uh, 1971 driver champion. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, Ronnie Peterson is second, third, Joe Siffert, fifth. Jackie Stewart, sixth is shared between Pedro Rodriguez and Chris Amon. And we are further down below with just six points. The sixth point we managed to get in Spain. Unfortunately, that's all we scored in this season so far. And we're well, well within the second half. So not a lot of time left to put a few more points on the board. But we'll try our best, obviously. Anyway, here are the constructors. Uh, turn back, obviously, are is uh, pretty much destroying this part of the championship as well. Owen Racing Organization are in second, third are Team Elf, uh, Team Tyrrell, sorry. March Engineering, March Engineering, third, uh, fourth, fifth, Equipe Matra and McLaren and Gold Leaf Team Lotus uh, sharing sixth. So, next up is the German Grand Prix at the absolutely fantastic Nordschleife, uh, my absolute favorite track of all time. There's no other track that can beat this one for me. Trebek is probably going to lap everybody at the Nürburgring too. Ah, that's actually, that's going to be quite a difficult thing to do, but we'll see. Anyway, let's. Exit the game real quickly and make sure we have the proper cars and deliveries for the uh, race. Ignore the notification. Race 7 of the season. Here we go. Yes, he is an actual driver. He had one... Uh, non-championship race in 1971 and he finished last in that one so <laughs> he didn't do too well he wasn't very successful all right Ooh, and it looks like we've received a dash of orange on the rear of our on our rear wing it used to be all metal brushed metal <laughs> that's not probably not going to help us too much though so um, let's just move on we've already seen the championship standings no real need to go through that all again let's move on to the Was hiding his real power, probably. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this race. Always fun to drive around the Nordschleife. Okay, I have a question though. Should we go through qualifying or not? I mean that's going to be about 20 minutes wasted only just to put in one single qualifying lap. I don't think it's really worth it. Well I cannot do one lap, I have to do two, two laps because you have the well, out lap and then flying lap. Okay, chat says to go through qualifying, so we'll go through, through qualifying, I guess. Let's make sure we have fuel enough fuel to put in a couple of laps. Eh, fill her up, why not? Uh. 
speed up a little bit. Not too much though. And I guess we can go now. Control T. You press Control T, Andreas. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. No one's managed to finish a flying lap yet. You could never speed up a session in F1 Challenge. My life was it. <laughs> well, you could have read the, uh, uh, you know, instruction manual. It's in there. Uh, the old number ring that somehow sponsored by Gran Turismo 4, a game that was released in the 21st century on PS2. Uh, I don't know. I. I've never played Gran, Tur Gran Turismo. I'm pretty sure it never came out on PC. Or has it? Yeah, only PlayStation. I did have a PlayStation for about a month or so, a PlayStation 1 back in the day, but I didn't really play it, so I got rid of it. Messi. Because I didn't play it. I gave it to someone who would use it. I sold it to a friend of mine. And he was more than happy to buy it. At least I made someone happy.
I'm using a Thrustmaster T150 with T3 PA pedals and a TH8 shifter. <clears throat> it's in the description by the way. At the bottom of the description section of the video you can find information about both my rig and the equipment I'm using aside from that the wheels and what wheel I'm using, what joystick I'm using whenever I'm flying, what gamepad I'm using hello Donovan into the carousel well obviously back in these days this lap took a, about 8 minutes so yeah I'm still on the out lap Oh boy. Come on. Ooh. The car getting sideways. Coming out of that left hander. Try to make a mental note of that when we're coming around to try and set a qualifying time next time around, and for the race as well, obviously. Thank you, Donovan. look we've managed to catch up to some other guys who aren't trying to qualify uh, and finally a little bit of break after that relentless lap this circuit keeps throwing corner after corner after corner after corner It's quite tiring both mentally and physically. Oh, a little bit too hot. Coming into this section. Yes, I'm going to do F1 Challenge VB Live. Okay, time to start our flying lap. Plus about time.
Don't say that, Azaris. That would be quite devastating. Come on. Move that Yardley out of the way. Thank you. Hello, Jason. Exactly, Donovan. This mod has every single season since since 1950 all the way to the present day. Including 2020. Uh, no, 2020 is not out yet. But usually the season for the current year is released right around or after Codemasters released their F1 game. So the 2020 season for this mod should appear at some point in the summer, I guess. It's, yeah, something like that. Not gonna complain about the French Gr Grand Prix being cancelled, eh? Well, Sharad in 2020. I'm sorry, Florian, but I think that's a pipe dream. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's a pipe dream. gonna download it now well uh, good luck Jason they should have brought back money call yeah that would have been better to be honest I prefer money call it's quite a fun track to drive at although I'm quite shit at racing there <laughs> Oh, and Terbeck posts the fastest lap of the session so far. 8 minute 15.39 seconds.
Well, depending on your internet connection, if you have a good internet connection, it should come down fairly quickly. Can computer problems in the car during the race? I don't understand. Whoa! I'm not experiencing any lag while driving. I would I would be very surprised if this game would have problems running on an right on a Ryzen 7 with a an RTX 2070 Super. That would be very surprising to me. It's not the best computer in the world, not by a long shot, but it's more than enough to run this and stream. Uh, at that time there is the Penske team. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to learn to pause the game when reading the chat. Go me. Learning from past mistakes. <laughs> Well, that's always good, I guess. Through the mini carousel. Oh, going a little bit wide. Come on. <laughs> Hashtag just my pistol things. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Uh, so, anyone brought coffee? This is going to be a long and straight drive. Oh boy, we're severely off the pace. At least I had a better approach to this slow section this time around. Hashtag GP2 engine, yep. Yeah. Wow, that's... <laughs> 43 seconds slower than Tedbeck's Tedbeck's uh, <laughs> lap. Anyway, I'm not going to do another lap, so. Uh, I mean, if you we look at these times, Tedbeck is pretty much the only one who managed to lap a eight an eight minute 15 second lap everyone else is in the one in 840s 850s so <laughs> I guess we're doing pretty well uh, Jason whatever track gear car combo you feel like it's really up to you whatever you prefer anyway let's speed through the rest of this session all 
I don't know. Try 2019 cars at this circuit. <laughs> on the 1950, on the 50s version of the circuit. Come on. So let's get to it. Well, wow, starting 15th, not a bad starting position. I think that I think that's actually our best starting position in this season. Uh, by pressing escape Donovan. All right, uh, do we have fuel? Yep, we should have more than enough fuel to complete the race. Um, you're welcome, uh, Donovan. So let's let the chaos begin at the green hell. Pardon. This is going to be interesting. Let's enjoy the Norch life for a while we can because it's not going to be part of the calendar for much longer. Ooh, look at that. Jackie Stewart and Francois Sever on the front row. I'm quite happy for those two. Uh, at least we're not seeing Turbeck right on the po on pole, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure that Terbeck is going to get in, get the lead pretty quickly. 2019 cars on 1915 Herbert Ring. Yeah, pretty much. Well, 1951 because the first German Grand Prix was held in 1951. 2008 cars on 55 Monaco. Wow, that... That should be doable, I guess. Yes, 1976. Nineteen seventy six was the year when Niki Lada had that terrible accident and that when the FIA finally decided to take it off the calendar. It was because becoming quite a dangerous track as cars started to become faster and faster. And there were quite a few drivers who were complaining about the danger of driving at the North Life and rightfully so to be honest. Okay. All cars fly into the harbor, Jason. All cars fly into the harbor. That's just the nature of uh, Nurburgring, I guess. Thank you, Donovan. I'm going to need it, especially at this track. Oh, block. That's a little bit of a block, but that's okay. All right, we're back up in P15. Taking a look at Chris Amon. Oh, AI is slowing down, and we're past Amon now. So that's P14. Now looking at Mike Donahue. A lunge on the inside, and we are P13 already. AI seems to be a little bit slow around here. Well. AI is quite bad on any circuit that has a lot of tight corners. And this is where the AI shines. Long straight roads.
got past that yard pretty quickly. That's nice. That's good. Happy with that. Chasing after Emerson Fittipaldi now. Is this a double overtake? Yes it is, that's P9. Done and dusted. Doing quite well for the moment. Getting close to René Weissel now. Let's take it easy. No point in rushing it. That will only hurt us in the end, so take our time and make sure we wait until we can overtake without doing anything dumb. Contact there with the Lotus of Vaisal. Throw it on the inside, yes, and that's a another overtake up in P8, and we immediately lose P8. No, oh, come on, come on, AI. I know you can do better than this. Nice pass on the outside there. Easy coming out the hill. Let's see if we can take this Yardley. The Yardley of Joe Sifford. He slows down for no reason. And we are up in P6 and in the point. Hopefully. I'll be able to keep it together until the end of the race for four laps. That's quite a long race. Given the length of this track. Okay, what? YouTube removed my comment just now. Well, if you're... If you're being inappropriate, yes. Okay, coming up on the carousel now. Throw it into the ball. Keep it steady. And speed out of the ball.
Oh. Nearly lost it back there. Easy into this left hander, that track breaks away from you. It's pretty bad under normal circumstances, but with a car as under theory as this one, that's even worse. Oh! Easy there, my fist, so easy! Don't throw away the race so early on. Better yet, don't throw away the race at all. Time for a breather before the next lap starts. Deep breath. And Timoshenko is out of the race. So we should be moving up into seventh soon. That's weird though, I think it we were in six already, I don't know. Maybe I remember, don't remember correctly. Anyway, we're in P6 now, it looks like Chris Amon also retired. And I make a right mess out of that hairpin. And we are suddenly up in P5. Uh, it looks like someone else has retired at some point. Ooh. Stay away from the curbs. These are some nasty curbs around here. Touching the curbs, Mephisto. Curbs bad. Oh boy. Does anyone remember when Rubens Barrichello had to give up the position to. Yes, I do remember that. I also remember I was very, very mad at that. The Austrian Grand Prix should have been Rubens, Barrichello, Rubens Barrichello's victory. That's how well. I guess you cannot compete with internal politics. Mm. 
Nope, I do not like team orders. Team orders are some of the most despicable things to have been brought into mortar sports. There is no honor as in in team orders, especially if you do dumb shit like telling your driver to slow down to allow your other driver to win a race, or telling your driver to crash on purpose to allow your other driver to win a race. Or tell your drivers, both your drivers, to pull to the side and allow the other team to cross and win the race just because they've been good sports to your team for the entire season. So no, I do not like team orders. The thing is though, you know, team orders are not inherently bad. What's bad about it, about it is the way it is being used by the teams. That's what, what, what really bothers me. Oh, and Filippaldi is out of the race. So we should move up into fifth at some point. Which is really nice. I wouldn't mind putting a couple of points on the board. It's been a long time since we've finished in the point. Sometimes it's okay, Masa move over for Alonso give us a title fight in 2010. Well, that's something else. But most of the time... As I said, in some cases it's okay. And, well, or rather... Team orders are not inherently bad. But the way they are being used by some of the teams is very bad and I only agree with team orders uh, telling one driver to move over for the other if the guy behind is obviously faster visibly faster if the guy in front is faster then keep him uh, in front even if it costs the other guy his championship i don't care
So, as long as, as team orders are done in good taste, it's okay. But when you're using it to give an advantage to one driver over the other, then that's a little bit scummy in my eyes. Hello, Christopher. Oh, and Jackie X retired, so that should be P4 for us momentarily. Three points. I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, a little bit wide. Got onto the grass a little bit, but that's fine. I don't know if Filippaldi abandoned the race. Maybe he had a problem. We'll check it out once the race is over. Anyway, with Jackie X out of the race, we now move up into P4. We have Francois Sever ahead of us. Some 40 seconds up the road. I th and I think uh, in front of Sevin is Jackie Stewart and in front of Jackie Stewart, obviously Turback. Once again owning the race. Yes, Turbeck is still leading the championship. Turbeck is leading both this race and the championship. Both championships, in fact. Constructors and drivers. Wi-Fi change? What happened? Nothing else, I'm slowly catching up to Francois Sever. And given how long this circuit is, we might get quite close to him by the end of the lap.
Oh boy! Oh. Oh. Yes, Christopher, I'm going to finish the 1971 season today. A little bit sloppy through the carousel there, but we're fine, still fine, pretty fine, fine and dandy. Oh, the back end started sliding there. Not quite sure why. Power off over here, maybe? I did lift, so that's probably what happened. Power off over here. Oop. No, 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 no. And all that progress towards getting close to Francois Seffin has just been thrown out of the window. Out the window. Welcome to yet another Mephisto race. from the curbs, Mephisto. When will I ever learn? Never, that's the correct answer. Never. Alright, time for a little bit of a breather. <laughs> no, I'm not really trying to emulate a Jimmy, but I could try. Although I, I'm not as good of a driver as he is, so that's going to be quite a futile attempt. Well, that sometimes happens, Donovan. Okay, coming around to... And lap three here. And start the final lap of the race. The only race in the season so far in which Terbeck didn't manage to lap everyone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I didn't even notice there was a hot air balloon there. It's nice. That was the wooing section of this live stream. <laughs> I don't know. Into the compression. So, a little bit too hot coming into this very slow section but we're fine the curves Stomalan is getting close he's one and a half minutes behind me so On this track, that doesn't mean a lot. That he's inching closer to me by a second or two. a bit unnecessary but oh well okay this is a place where I need to downshift la 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 Thank you Rob for tuning in. See you later. And Turbeck wins the German Grand Prix obviously.
Oh, come on. Nearly lost it. Okay. Not that far to go now. Before the end of the race. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please don't stay. Fudge. So much for scoring points, eh? Damn it. Well, there goes my three points. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably at rally races, not at Formula One tracks. <laughs> anyway, that's it. So, obviously, Terbeck won the <laughs> German Grand Prix with Jackie Stewart in second, Francois Sevet third, Howden Ganley finished fourth, fifth, Rolf Thomalen, and Joe Siffert was sixth. And quite a few people managed to complete the race. In fact, 14, we retired on the penultimate lap, unfortunately, on the ultimate lap. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's take a look at the standings. No, he's not as talented as his father, it seems. <laughs> okay, so Bernd Terbeck is obviously running away with the championship at this point, we already know that. Jackie Seward is in second, Ronnie Peterson and Joe Sifford sharing third, fourth is Francois Savin, very well done for him. Fifth is shared between Pedro Rodriguez, Chris Amon and Harden Ganley and fifth, uh, sixth, I mean, is Pardon, shared between Oliver Higgs and Rene Weissel. So those are the drivers. Let's move on to the constructors, where we have Turnback, obviously still leading the championship with Owen Racing Organization in second, third are Tyrol, fourth March Engineering, fifth Ekip Matra, and sixth is shared between McLaren and Gold Leaf Team Lotus. So that was the British Grand Prix. Next up is the. I mean, that was the German Grand Prix. Next is the Austrian Grand Prix at the fantastic Österreich cir circuit. And uh, we are going to do that in just a second. First, I need to, you know, do the use and make sure we have the proper cars and uh, liveries for the race. Uh, that is number eight. Good. Let's go through this real quickly. And I think I'm going to take a very, 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 very quick break. I need to take a... To go to the bathroom real quick. So I'll be back in a moment. Hey, what the hell?
that's what I was driving. Oh, that's why. I guess we are going to uh, take Denny Holmes' place since. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, get back there. Anyway, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm back. So let's continue on with the Austrian Grand Prix. Skip for all of that. Since we've already seen the standings at the end of last race. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the link in the description so we can vote for next season's team since the straw poll for 1972 will be over as soon as this race is over. So, uh, I mean, this, this season is over, which is, will be at the end of the stream, which is going to be today. So, uh, make sure to check that out okay let's just skip, skip through practice real quick go into qualifying not ideal conditions but we'll have to make two hey wait wait a goddamn minute okay that is McLaren what the I think doesn't look right wait why? I'm confused. So this is McLaren, right? Yeah, it is. Oliver Higgs has six points. McLaren has no points and I'm for some reason in Owen Racing Organization. This, this makes absolutely 
no sense what's happening here. Uh, oh well. Goodbye, Donovan. No, BRM is uh, British Racing Motors. And they're sponsored by Yardley. A future sponsor for McLaren. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what what's happening. I have no idea why we're driving a different car, but oh well. Oh, I skipped qualifying. That was dumb. Well, I guess we won't be qualifying for this race then. Oh boy. This game is so dumb sometimes. Okay. So let's get into this. Since I skipped qualifying like an idiot. Terbeck starting from 11th somehow. That's a first for him in this season. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've been put in, in a Yardley BRM even though I chose a McLaren, so I have no idea. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, but, oh well, whatever happens, happens, I guess. Yeah, Owen Racing Organization BRM. I don't know why, because I chose McLaren. We're off for the Austrian Grand Prix. DA is quite slow on the start, as it as it usually is. And that's Barber overtaking us for 26. We fall back down to 27th. There's a smoking engine in front of us. Barber is not having a good time. It's probably going to retire soon. That engine is going to blow. Thank you, Jason, for voting. Well, this is a live stream, Jason. I am doing it as a live stream. To be frank, entering a skip barber in an F1 race doesn't sound like a very good idea. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Indeed, it doesn't. I'm going to stream all of the race, everything from now on. 
I'm no longer going to do in individual videos. I don't have time to edit and all that stuff, so from now on, everything on this channel will be a live stream. I want my McLaren back. What the hell happened to it? Okay, we are now up in P29. Chasing after old Maxi here. That's P28. Sweet. Let's see if we can take Maze as well. Oh, there's a car smoking at the side of the road. That's on Ripes Carolo, and we gain a position and lose it immediately because I'm looking at what's happening at the side of the road instead of looking at what's happening on the track. Way to go, way to go me. And Barber's out as well. Okay, let's get around Max, or rather on the inside of Max, and that's P27. Now chasing after Pete Lovely. I guess, I guess it has. Didn't really mean to do that, but it seems like the car didn't have enough power to get out of that c corner for whatever reason. I hope my next car next my next car next season won't be bad. <laughs> but we'll see what I'll be driving once the stream is over. Let's make it a double pass. Ooh, that's 25th. Nice. Is 11... Yes. Yes, Jason. That's what the 11 means. I have 11 uh, laps of fuel left. That was a lovely pass. <laughs> I guess it was, wasn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Getting wide. Anyway, P24 on lap 4. Oh. 
Easy. Easy. There we go. Just a second. Sorry about that this short distraction. Uh, when will the 1972 uh, stream start? Well, it most likely going to start next Saturday. I don't think I'll have time enough time today to. At the end of this stream to start that one, so. And tomorrow I'd rather have a rest before Monday because Monday I'm going back to work, so. I need to be fresh and ready for another long week's work. So most likely the 1972 season will start next Saturday. Yes, I have to adhere to social distancing at work. Luckily, where I work, uh, in my, in the area where I work, I'm completely alone, so it's quite easy to keep social distancing. But we all wear masks and all that. Not to mention that out of 400 plus employees, only about 70 five people are going to work now so you know there's not a whole bunch of us and the factory floor is quite big so there's plenty of room for everyone Let's see if we can gain a few more positions. We are right up with Mike Butler here. He overtakes Alfred and I will try to do the same on the inside. There we go. That's P23. Whoa. That was a decent overtake. Always want, almost wanted to pat myself on the back, but I'd rather not. Why would I box on lap 7? There's plenty of fuel. Okay, coming up on Geese Van Lennep now. And 
And that's B22. Sweet. So sweet. Oh, and Buter is very slow coming into turn one. And that's P21. Thank you. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Next would be John 30s with about two and a half seconds up the road. So it's going to take quite a little bit of time before I can catch up to him. Why would I pit this lap? I have nine laps worth of fuel. Great BRM master plan. No one told me about any great BRM master plan, trademark. Damn it. Yeah, Terbeck is back in business, as always. Okay, Surtis is in going into the pit, so that's P20 for us. Well, it's not, not much of an undercut if most of the AI is not going to pit, so I'd much rather stay out as much as possible, for as long as possible. Yeah, uh, Terbeck isn't indeed a real person, he, ra he raced just once. In a non-championship race. Oh. Oh. That was kind of dumb. Okay. So we are closing in on Andrea de Adamic now. And what looks to be one of the Tyrrells. I think. Ooh, that's fire coming out of whatever that car is. Oh, he's trying to block me. Dude, your car is going to explode. Why are you trying to race? What a crazy lad. R slash mad lads. <laughs> Need a light? Time to turn up the heat. Okay, we're back up with Andrea de Adamic and we are about to overtake him. Let's see if we can do that. Coming into turn two here. Oh, that's a little bit shaky coming into turn one or two. So. Yeah, something like that. Okay. It looks like the Adam which has some sort of a problem with his car. Seems to be bogged down in whatever gear he's in. I'm not 
not going to complain. That's P18 for us. Which is pretty cool. Fight for the title. That boat has sailed a long time ago, my friend. Oh. Guard doesn't want to turn in. Seriously, are all cars in the 1970s, at least early 1970s, so under theory? Okay, so now we are looking at Rolf Stomolan, who is right in front of us. Almost two seconds up the road. He's very slow coming into this left-hander. Let's try to overtake him on the outside or make a switch back and go on the inside. Oh, nah. He kind of blocks us. And Jackie X is out of the race. Let's, whoa, he slows down for no reason on the straight. All right. Anyway, that's a move done and dusted. Up into P16 now. And chasing after Tim Schenken. And with about 4 seconds up the road. Closing in on Team Schenken now. Oh. Come on, little BRM. Little make. Ooh. I don't know what happened there, but I saw a front wing flying and someone crashed into the barrier, so that I think that was Nani Gali. So that's 15th for us. Or 14th even. Thank you. I'm not going to complain about that. And we're now looking at Danny Holm. Went past him quite easily, and that's Team Schenken. Can we overtake him as well? Yes we can, and that's P12. And how is Denny Holm in the race when I replaced him? So I could drive for 
continue driving for McLaren. What the hell is happening in this game? Ooh! White smoke in front, that's Jean-Pierre Beltois, he pulls to the side, he's out of the race. And that's P11 for us. Or P12, sorry. Okay, we're now P11 with Beltran out of the race. That's really nice, and my voice is cracking up. <laughs> that last one was actually intentional. <laughs> to be lapped hurrah and guess who it is it's Santa Claus no of course it's not it's burned freaking turn back turn back <laughs> so we're now down one lap Getting closer and closer to the end of the, this race now. <laughs> oh, we're getting a little bit twitchy. And we've just started lap 13. Chasing after Rene Weissel at the moment, with about 12 seconds up the road. Ooh, going very wide into turn one. That's not going to help our cause. Trying to close the gap on Weissel. In fact, that's actually going to do the exact opposite. Make it slower. Make it harder, rather. got a things to say so I'm just humming Come on, turn. There we go. We
Just about to la uh, start lap 15. Getting really close to the end now. coming into turn two here Not a lot to commentate when there's not much going on around you. stupid thing okay lap 16 this is our penultimate lap Oh, and clearly got Tony is out of the Austrian Grand Prix. So that's going to move us up into P10. Not gonna complain. Uh, Sturbeck is flying away with this race. And the championship. Anyway, we are up in P P10 now. Coming around to start our final lap, and now Ronnie Peterson is out of the race. That's P9. So final lap of the race for us. Looks like we will be finishing in uh, P9. That's fine. At least we'll finish the race unlike the last one. Where I just flipped the car and had to retire from 4th 
quite salty for losing those three points, but I guess there's no real point in dwelling over spelt, spelt milk. And Terbeck obviously wins the Austrian Grand Prix. Congrats to him. And all that. And that's the Austrian Grand Prix done and dusted for nine for 1971. Let's quickly drive back to the pit. And I think I'm going to take a short break after this, grab something to eat, and then continue on afterwards. I'm not going to end the stream, however, I'm going to re leave it running. I'll be down in chat if you want to talk, if you still want to talk. Uh, play some music, I... I guess I have some royalty free music Well, if nothing else, at least we finished the race. Hello. Turbeck wins the Austrian Grand Prix with Jackie Stewart in second, Francois Levert third, fourth Mario Andretti, Howden Ganley fifth, sixth is Emerson Fittipaldi. Uh, in total, pardon, pardon, 16 people managed to finish the race and everyone else returned. So that's exactly half the field that managed to complete the race. That's quite decent, I guess. So let's move on and let's check out the championship results. So, Turnback obviously running away with the championship. By this point, I'm pretty sure he he's won the... I have no idea. Because I chose McLaren, but for whatever reason, the game put me in, in into a, a BRM. Uh, so yeah, uh, Turnback is running away with the championship and I think at this point he's pretty much won the Drivers' Championship. Jackie Stewart is second, third is Francois Sevef, fourth is shared between Ronnie Pearson and Joe Siffert, fifth is Howden, Ga is Howden Ganley and, and sixth is shared between Pedro Rodriguez and Chris Amon. Yes, that's very strange, Ronnie. Okay, let's move on to the Constructors. Not only that, but look, McLaren has no more points for whatever reason. 
accused of have sex. So yeah, uh, a turn back is leading the Constructors Championship. Owen Racing Organization are in second. Uh, Tyrrell are third, fourth. March Engineering fifth. Equipe Matra and six is shared between Scuderia Ferrari and Gold Leaf Team Lotus. So let's accept that. And the next race is going to be Monza. But as I said, I'm going to trade take a short break to get something to eat. I'm going to s leave the stream uh, running, however, so uh, we can still uh, chat if you feel like it. But anyway, yeah, see, uh, it says McLaren here, but it's actually Owen Racing. I, I, I don't, I really don't know what's happening. <laughs> The game's being weird, I guess. Uh, and in fact, before we, before I pause the stream, uh, let's uh, make uh, get things running for the next race. Italian Grand Prix. All right. Okay, Bruce McLaren, yep, that's all set. What do you mean rest of the world? UK, you get, okay. Hopefully this time it will be McLaren. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to pause, well, uh, take a short break and we'll be back after I get something to eat. It shouldn't take long though. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm going to leave the stream running. That way we can still talk if you feel like it. put on some background noise so you guys don't get completely bored It looks like Jason doesn't want to answer anymore. <laughs>
that ended abruptly. See what's on sale on Steam. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mega Man is on sale. Still need to get those games. Shenmue 1 and 2 is also on sale. Cool. AC Odyssey, Resi E Evolve 2, that would be cool. Uh, pizza, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Borderlands. Hmm. Star Wars, more Final Fantasy, Mega Man 11 is also on sale, indeed yummy, <laughs> the Contra collection is on sale, Not gonna buy anything yet. Don't really think I have money left either. Probably should check that. Anything on sale on GOG? Heart of Iron 2, Heart of Iron, Darkest Hour, 
For the Glory, Europa Universalis, 1 and 2, Crusader Kings, Victoria, uh, Blitzkrieg, 1 and 2, should probably get those at some point. Hmm. Pam 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 Uh, yes, uh, Christopher, I do. I have most of the collection, in fact. Minus uh, 2010 and uh, 2013.
I have 11, 2011, 2014, 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, and well, 20 not yet, but it will be there as soon as it is going to be released. So basically the entire collection. Minus 2009, which was a console exclusive. Although, by, based on what I heard, 2009 was a pretty rubbish game. So, maybe it's better that <laughs> we didn't get to taste it here on the PC. Maybe not, who knows. Out of all, I would say that 2015 is probably the weakest in terms of features. I mean, 2015 didn't even have a proper career for Pete's sake. Don't know what Codemasters were thinking. Not to mention, it was a completely buggy, bugged mess when it was launched. Fourteen is decent enough, but twenty fifteen was annoying to me at least because there's no no real career in it. You just race as one of the existing drivers. You can't even create your own driver. I think it was kind of cool that you could theoretically go through both the twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen seasons in the twenty fifteen game, but eh. Well, I guess that's the best part of 2013, the classic cars. Everything else is pretty much box standard. Although I think that, well, at least in my opinion, uh, 2016 is it's where is where Codemasters really started picking up their games and their game and started making good F1 titles again. Well, decent F1 titles. I'm still waiting for a, a proper F1 sim, but. I don't have any other sports games. No, I don't. I'm not really into anything outside of. Well, I have MotoGP games, but I'm not. Outside of motorsports, I'm not really into sports. So if it doesn't have wheels or engine, no. Other than that, I play any sort of game. So from RPGs to platformers to shooters to whatever so I have a little bit of everything I mean out of nearly 600 games I own you all, I obviously can't all be racing games it would be a little bit weird to have 600 plus racing games 
Well, simulations are kind of m my main focus. I've been playing sim sim games from ever since I was quite young. I uh, actually got into uh, simulations uh, with uh, through Flight Simulator. Uh, that's where my love for real uh, games that simulate the realism uh, kind of started. Now, I can't even remember what my first ever video game was. Yeah, I, actually, my first ever video game was uh, a Sonic the Hedgehog, the first one. Back when I was still little. My dad uh, bought me Sega Mega Drive, or Genesis if you're from the US. Uh, it came bundled with a, a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. I played the crap out of that game. Loved it to bits. Still love it. Although the Sonic games have gotten quite lazy in the later in later years. Uh, the game that got me into racing, interestingly enough, is a game called Carmageddon. Don't know, don't know if you've heard of it, but <laughs> yeah. It has absolutely nothing to do with racing, but that's what started my uh, love for racing games, I guess. Even though I was watching Formula One on TV when I was young, it, I never really had like an, I didn't really connect the dots that I would like to <laughs> race or, you know, play racing games. So I thought. Uh, Formula One was best left for the screen. Well, the TV screen. But then I played Carmageddon and I started liking racing games. Again, Carmageddon has absolutely nothing to do with racing. You just drive around in a fantasy car, crashing into other cars and Massacring people. So quite the opposite from racing. My first for my first proper racing game was a uh, Grand Prix Legends from Papyrus, which was based on the nineteen seventy six Formula One season, except most of the cars did not have licenses but they were pretty much uh, it was a pretty much a formula one sim a proper sim back in 19, 1998 it was released I remember I had so much trouble trying to race back then because I didn't have a steering wheel only keyboard and it's ab absolutely impossible to drive cars in Je uh, Grand Prix Legends with uh, a steering wheel, or oh, without a steering wheel. I'm almost finished eating and once I'm done we can go back to the game, yes.
Ooh, we're done. Uh, I actually have that on my wish list. Haven't bought it yet. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll get back into the racing. right back and it's time to continue our quest for through the 1971 season good or bad as it may be currently playing as Belgium Ooh, sweet wait wasn't Belgium neutral during first world war I'm pretty sure they were Okay, so let's get moving and hopefully this time we are going to actually get the McLaren not the BRM Who cares it's not like Romania did too much in the game uh, in World War one I don't really mind. Did even less in the second one. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Bronny. Okay, let's get into it. How does this freaking work? So, it clearly says Bru Bru McLaren, right? It still says McLaren. And it changes to Yardley. I have no idea what the hell is going on with this game anymore. Anyway, I think we'll continue the season with Yardley. Until I'll be able to select McLaren again at some point. I... I have no idea what's going on. This is a bit annoying. Anyway, let's have a quick recap of the championship. Uh, Bernd Terbeck is leading the championship, obviously. 
uh, with uh, Jackie Stewart in second, Francois Seven third, fourth, Ronnie Peterson, a position which he shares with uh, Joe Siffert. Fifth is Han uh, Howden Kelly and Pedro Rodriguez sixth position which he shares with Chris Amon. And in the constructors we have Turnback leading the championship with own racing organization in second third L team Alf Terrell. Fourth March Engineering, fifth Matra and sixth are Ferrari. So those are the standings and let's move on. Yes, it pretty much forces me to drive a BRM even though I should be driving a freaking McLaren. Ah well. The mighty hand of Bruce McLaren has risen from the from the grave and has decided that I'm not worthy of driving one of his cars. Probably <laughs> that could be that could might well be brawny that might well be Anyway, let's skip all the way to quality Speed this up a little bit and put some fuel in the car Although I would doubt he's, he would be a BRM fan, given that he's Italian, so... Uh, <laughs> but who knows? Stranger things have happened. Anyway, let's get out there and try to qualify. into Lesmo 1 have the car going sideways don't really want to do that well it wasn't really intentional so uh <laughs> squeaking intensifies indeed Just started our flying lap. Hopefully we'll be able to do decently. Obviously Terbeck has already posted the fastest lap of the session so far. <laughs> I mean is anyone even surprised at this point? I know I am. I am not at all surprised about this. <laughs> Whoosh! 
under the old part of the circuit the old oval the old oval hot into Parabolica there uh, that's not a going to be good so let's give it another go and this I'm hopefully with a little less under steer that would be absolutely fantastic Touch the grass on the outside there a little bit, but we're fine. Uh -huh. A bit sloppy. Well, a bit very sloppy, but semantics. <laughs> Up into fifth gear. I believe, if I'm not wrong, that this is the last time we will see Monza in this particular configuration. Oh, shoot! That was not a good entrance into Parabolica. Damn it. I have to do another one. I think starting next season, we'll start seeing a couple of chicanes being introduced in an attempt to slow the cars down, obviously. It's either 72 or 73. Exactly, exactly, Bronny. That's exactly how you shouldn't go into Parabolic, and that's how you should not go into Lesmo. Come on, can we put in a, a decent lap around here? Fettel is proud of me. Well, Fettel should be very proud of me. Okay, let's try and put in a decent lap this time around. This is going to be the last lap I'm going to put in. the best but had worse no seriously you couldn't see me
That's it. That's quality over. I'm not going to attempt another one because it looks like I was. I just can't. Oh! Easy there, grass. Seriously? What the? I don't think that's how physics work. What the hell was that sound? That sounded like a freaking jet engine, what the hell? The fan car is not supposed to <laughs> appear until much later. Exactly. Anyway, I had enough with this qualifying session because it seems that it's not working out for me, so better just quit while I'm ahead. Turbine Lotus participate in this race. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the rain. Ah, and it's uh, go to the race, and it's raining. <laughs> Saw the word rain there. I, I my brain just froze. Okay, let's fill her up. This McLaren, which isn't quite a McLaren. This game sometimes, man, this game. Wait, why do you get 200 liters of starting fuel, but you only get 144? Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Is it the same for all? Yep, that's 140. And that's 140. That's so bizarre. It should be the same amount in all. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Probably not. Uh, Terbeck managed to keep the pole position. I never thought that. He did? I didn't even look at that. Oh, yes, he did. Wow. Anyway, let's jump into the race. It's raining cats and dogs. Or, I don't know, lizards and chicken. Animals, just in general. What a weird thing to say though. <laughs> Raining cats and dogs. Okay, so Jackie X is right there beside Terbeck, it's it looks like. Francois Sever managed to uh, qualify better than his mentor. That's quite surprising.
Not safe for work. What's not? I'm eating it. <laughs> Man, the SCPs got rid of their front wings. Well, some of them. This guy still has its his front wing. <clears throat> All righty. Whoa, car parts flying all over the place, and he turns into me for no reason. Fifth. What is this car? Why does it sound so bizarre? That sounds like a freaking jet engine. Whoa! And my car spins out, of course. Oh, come on! Yeah. Come on, my fist will keep it straight. I hate racing in rain. Come on. Jack X is already out of the race, so. Spin Bastion, Spin Tail. <laughs> oh, everyone's slowing down around here. Not quite sure why. Barber looks to be missing some wings. Whoa, why are you turning into me like that? Dude, easy. Hey, I'm getting desperate. Anyway, with quite a few retirements, we move up into P25. And here are a bunch of very slow moving cars. So that's P23 already. Why is everyone driving so slow all of a sudden? Come on! Don't pull in front of me if you're going to brake immediately. There we go. Okay, I guess he's the reason why everyone's so slow. I'm not going to waste any time though. Ouch, that hurts.
Oh, and there are a bunch of people in the pit, so we move up into P11 already. I think I would scream like hell if I was watching a stream and it suddenly started buffering. I mean, I don't have the greatest connection in the universe. I only have 300 megabits per second, but still, dude. Buffering during a live stream, that would be... Ugh. Uh, come on, get out of the grass. There you go. This, the city I live in is not a very big city, to be honest. Only around 150... Around, around 150,000 people live here. So it's not a massively huge city. It's only about the 20th largest in the country, in fact. Uh... But you know, uh, I uh, I think here in Romania we have the advantage of, well, the country being quite small and the infrastructure being a lot easier to manage and handle. And, and so that's why we probably have slightly better internet connection. I mean... Fiber link around here is pretty much box standard. Ooh, 3,000 people. That sounds really nice and cozy when you pretty much know everyone else. Thirty-five thousand people. Hmm. Oh, of course. I downshift early, and that happens. Try to be a little bit aggressive, and bites me in the ass. Either way, I'm still, I'm, I'm still considering moving up to gigabit. I wouldn't mind having even faster internet, and it's not all that expensive to to get the upgrade. So I think I'll just go for it. Sooner rather than later. Eight point eight nine two million people live living. I think I'd die. I don't like crowded cities. I don't like crowded places. And in the apartment where I live we are forced to use Vodafone and they are really bad here. Oh, Oh, you live in London. Ah. Uh. I've been to Bucharest a couple of times, the capital of Romania. Uh, they, there are only about... three or four million people living there. And even that seemed a lot to me. 
very crowded so I think I would die in London with 8 million almost 9 million people don't even want to start to imagine how I would feel in Tokyo the largest metropolis in the world <laughs> I hate Bucharest, by the way. Just FYI. But that's a secret between you and me. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. South coast of England. Ow. Like near Cornwall or something. Oh, P5. I've not noticed either. I was kind of paying attention to chat. Good appetite, Jason. Have a nice meal. A lot of noise in behind me. It seems that there are quite a few cars running behind. Understeer, stupid, stupid understeer. Oh, and Nani Gali get ahead of us. So we drop down to P6. The track seems to be st still seems to be wet. And that's fifth back. Thank you. Wham bam. Spe oh, thank you, ma'am. Nearly said something indecent. Okay, lap 8 out of 19. Ouch! Ooh. Wide out of Lesmo 1. And that cost me two positions. And I can't keep the car turning. Damn this stupid under theory mess of a car thanks Bronny but it looks like that's all for naught
because I lost two places. Come on, why won't you turn? Damn you. Hold up. Pedals keep slipping away from me. I really need to get myself a frame or something. Whoa, why are you slowing down? Oh boy. Whoa, contact, contact. Clearly got someone who hit me from behind. Well, hot darn. Maldonado indeed intensifies. Oop. Thank you JJ1 for the subscription. That scared me. <laughs> Startled me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that chime to sound. Someone has smoke coming from their engine! Italian Grand Prix. No, I'm only streaming here on YouTube. And that is the third retirement of the season. So, uh, as expected, third back won the Italian Grand Prix with Joe Seffert in second, Henri, uh, Pedro Rodriguez third, fourth. Nani Gali, Howden Gali 5th and Jean-Pierre Beltois finished the race in 6th and all 17 people managed to finish the race, that's quite an impressive number if I do say so myself and 
everyone else returned, obviously. So with that, let's take a look at the championship standings. Obviously, Turbeck has won the championship. There is no doubt about it. Hello, Lorenzo. Uh, Jackie Stewart is in second. Joseph at third. Fourth is Francois Seven, Ronnie Peterson. Fifth and sixth is shared between Pedro Rodriguez and Howden Ganley. Pardon. On to the constructors. Uh, Turnback is obviously winning the championship. In fact, I would hazard to say that uh, they pretty much won the constructors title. L uh, Owen Racing Organization are second. Elf Team Tyrrell are third, fourth. March Engineering 5th, uh, Equipe Matra 6th, our Scuderia Ferrari. So let's move on to the Canadian Grand Prix at Mosport. And before we do that, let's quickly make sure to change to change the cars and have the proper liveries and shapes and whatnot. Yeah, Canada is quite fun. Is it though? Is it really in the game? Or is it besides the game? Tell me EA. Okay, should probably stop with that joke. Okay, it looks like we we've received a McLaren. Uh, hopefully, it's a McLaren and not it's in the DLC. <laughs> it's most definitely in the DLC. God damn it! Okay, uh, it says McLaren, but I'm pretty sure we're going to nice girl. Uh, a little bit low on polygons, I would say, but okay. No, I'm pretty sure she doesn't drive. She's probably a pit girl or whatever. Ah, uh, remember when we used to have pit girls? Okay. No, it looks like this uh, this McLaren is indeed BRM for whatever reason. Ah, boy. Never mind. Okay, let's move on. Well, at, at the very least, at least I went from a team that wasn't doing very well and to a team that's second in the championship, I guess. In the constructors, whatever. Let's, let's get into this. Let's not dwell on it too much. What color I would have my helmet? Uh, black. Why? Uh, okay, let's speed through this. Put on watch because it seemed, looked like it was raining. Uh, five laps of fuel should be enough. Bring down the volume a little bit in my headphones. Okay, let's get qualifying.
He probably is. I guess we could simulate a practice session or the warm up session, see what happens. too fast for that corner the double right hander Go, go, go! See if we can qualify in a decent position. Oh! That's not going to help us be quick. Come on! Why don't you slow down when I step on the freaking brakes? Not only are you under theater, you're, you're not very responsive on any sort of control input I give you, you stupid piece of scrap metal. for another lap hopefully this time I'll be able to put in something a little bit more decent Very big F. Hey, look, I can actually drive. What a freaking surprise. Nah, who am I kidding? I couldn't drive to save my life. Oh. Okay, that that's decent enough. Lap time, I don't care, let's <laughs> get on to the race. Uh, fast forward through the rest of the session. Oh, look who took pole just now. 
end by all, almost 10 seconds as well. Yeah, I agree, Tanker. I agree. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> that would be quite interesting. Okay, so let's see how good this ter Terbic dude would do in warm up. Ah, there you have it. Yes, he he's fast in any session. Even in warm-up. By quite a margin. Ha! It looks like he's actually fallen. Uh, where are you, BB? Down to seven. Although that was not using the... Uh, fast forward function it was just skipping to the end which is uh, well the game is kind of weird with that anyway let's switch on to soft because it looks like it's dry now but fuel in the car obviously wouldn't want to start without that and let's get a going And me beer's gone. Why is the beer always gone? Yeah. I guess water will have to do. <laughs> he is racing Android? <laughs> Probably. Oh, Tedbeck starting from fourth. Huh. That's not something you see often. A couple of Yardleys qualified next to each other. That STP is still missing its front wing. Well, it's not missing it, they got rid of it. Maybe they had their reasons? Uh, probably, that, that could answer a few questions, I guess. <laughs> What do you mean? It was green. I saw the light. It was green. Why did I get a jump start penalty? Okay, let's hope that the pits are working. Ouch. I'm feeling sorry for you. Brony. Because apparently I jump started the I jump started the race, so Yeah, 
Let's hope that the pits are working properly on this circuit, otherwise I will not be able to serve that penalty. Looks like it's working properly. There we go. Ouch. Okay, we managed to serve our damn jump start penalty. And we're back in the race. I'm quite happy I was able to do that. And without too much effort, we are all in P28. Obviously, thanks to the AI retiring. Ooh, Trebek is indeed out! <laughs> wow! Did not expect that. Welcome back, Jason. Yep, Trebek is indeed out. I wonder what happened to him. Get around Nanigali on the outside. Sweet move. Sweet apple pie. onto the grass okay oh 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 okay Stay off the grass, Mephisto. Grass not good. This ain't no rally car.
Okay, slowly but surely catching up to P26, which is Dave Charlton. He's about seven and a half seconds up the road, and Joe Bonnier is out of the race. So that should move us up into P26. Yes, it does. And Mike Donahue is also out. So that's P25. And Gong is out as well. So that's P24. Wow. Three retirements in a row. That's quite something. Well, it would be if this were real life. Three retirements in a row is kind of... Uh, only the dessert for this game, so... <laughs> you know. Oh, sorry, I said Nani Gali was out, but he's not. He's actually behind me. Don't know why I thought he was out. in on Dave Charlton every lap which is good oh back getting a little bit twitchy coming out of turn one but we're fine coming out of that corner easy that section of the track is such a tricky part you really need to pay a lot of attention going into that double apex right hander Okay, save the curb. There we go. Down to second gear for the final corner. S smash the pedal and on we go. Back down into third gear for turn one. And up the hill towards turn two. Lift off just a little bit. I kept downshifting into three for there, not quite sure why, but four fits more than enough. It's more than good enough. I, and I go wide, and the grass slows me down, so Nani Gali manages to get around us. Hopefully, not for long. Oh, and I lock up. Shoot. Walked down, got walked down in the gravel trap as well. Damn it. As I said, that double right hander, coming into that double right hander is such a, a tricky thing. It's very difficult. You're carrying so much speed and you need to, in order to keep as much speed speed as possible and be competitive you need to try and keep as much momentum going as possible as they go 
sideways through the penultimate corner, but I somehow managed to keep the car pointing in the right direction as we come around to start lap 8. This is starting to go really, really badly. Four laps of fuel is more than enough to take us to the end of the race. So no, I do not need to box yet. God, you managed to get around Dave Charlton. Fine. Yeah. Forgot to shift. Not doing any favors to our engine. Okay, we're now right up with Dave Charlton. Time to try and get P26, uh, 24 rather, I should say. Second gear, move it on the inside, and that's done. So we're back up in P24. Quite grateful for it. Yeah, I have run out of fuel, in fact. A few times, in fact. Thanks to the game's fuel calculation algorithm screwing up with me. Good luck, Jason. I've ran out of fuel before that as well. Although I don't remember the season or the race. Nanigali kind of blocking me, but I managed to get around him. So we move up into P23 now. Which is absolutely fantastic. So now chasing after Pete Lovely, who is less than a second up ahead. I'm not sure who exactly is in front of him. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to try and overtake them all the same. Lovely getting really rowdy. But 
that's not really going to work with me. Quite determined to overtake him. That's P21. So now we're up with Barber. Hopefully I'll be able to overtake him as well soon enough. Touched the curb on the inside there and just made my car fly. So I lost all, all that darn work I just did. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, Mario and is out, so we move up into P23. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. Not want to let me through there. But no matter. I'm still going to try and overtake him eventually. He break checked me there. Didn't have time to react. Blue flag, sorry. Oh, it's gone. Not sure what happened to it. Oh. Going sideways through turn one. Whoa. Why are you breaking through there? Damn you, AI. Make up your mind, pick a, pick a line and stick to it, don't switch lines halfway through a corner. Good. Good, good, we're making progress finally.
four seconds to Alfred. And then the Vital is out. So that's B17. I don't mind if I do. And another blue flag. Come on, AI. Are you seriously going to screw me over like this? Now. There we go. Going wide, going wide. Somehow, still kept it under control. Well, relatively speaking. Mowing the lawn, don't mind me. I thought the grass was a little bit too big there, too long. I needed to go mowing. Hashtag dirt rally, yeah. <laughs> Caught up to Vic Alford despite our lawn mowing escapade a couple of corners ago. Getting a little bit out of shape, coming into the right hander. Beltois is now out, so we move up into P16. Go, that's P15. And that's a, a blue flag. Don't know why. Oh, that's why. There was a Ferrari, I believe that is. Trying to lap me. Good easy. Whoa, whoa. Easy with the curbs. Let's not forget what happened last time. When I touched the curbs around this place.
What? Anarchy Gaming. What is your favorite F1 game ever and why? Oh boy. That's a tough question. My favorite F1 game and why? Hmm. I really have to think about this one. I think if I really give it really consider all all of the options and everything that's out there and uh, all I've been through in F1 games considering most fun I had uh, most uh, uh, immersed I felt most uh, everything I think I would go with Grand Prix Legends from Papyrus. And that's the game that uh, <laughs> F1 race starts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, no, it's a. I th I think I would go with uh, Grand Prix Legends. Uh, that's the game that kind of brought me into. Uh, Gave me a taste of what a, pro a proper racing sim would be like. That, that was in in fact my first uh, sim and first serious racing game. And it was quite immersive. It was very difficult to drive as you would expect since you were uh, Grand Prix Legends is actually based on the 1976 season and you know the cars are properly really simulated in that one unlike here where uh, it's pretty much a joke in terms of physics and handling and all that I so yeah I think I'll I would go with Grand Prix Legends I spent many hours in that sim when I was younger uh, I wasn't good at it by any means but I always had fun I enjoyed it and I enjoy I started enjoying it even more once I got a my first steering wheel Uh, Grand Prix Legends is a, a very old game by now, but it's still uh, supported by the community. It was released in 1980, 1998 by Papyrus. There are a lot of mods for that game as well. Most of them centered around late the late 60s and early 70s. Actually, uh, last year, I believe, or a year before that, they released a, a 1955 mod for Grand Prix Legends. It's, uh, it's a very good game, although I would recommend getting a steering wheel if you want to play that. Uh, it's nigh impossible with a keyboard. I've not yet played any of the F1 games past 2015, even though I have them. I have them in my Steam library, I can even show you, but I've not played past uh, 15. Well, actually, no, I did play uh, 2017 uh, 
back a couple of years ago when uh, uh, they made it free for a, a weekend but uh, back then I still had my old computer and well let's just say it didn't run very well <laughs> At Anarchy Gaming, which season got you the most points? Yes, it is compatible with a Thrustmaster. Which season got me the most points? Ooh. Hell if I can remember. Okay, go. Uh, but not you, Alfred. You need to get back behind me. Don't unlap yourself. You need to get behind me. Sorry, Jason. I really cannot remember which season I managed to score the most points in Ooh. getting a little bit out of shape coming out of that tight right hander <laughs> good one brownie good one Blue flags, hooray, huzzah! Come on, whoa, Alfred! All of a sudden, started really wants to get away from me. He's already pulled a three second gap. What was the biggest crash I ever had or saw? Like in real life or in games? F F for Felipe Massa's last championship. In game, biggest crash I seen or saw. Uh, was it 2001 or 2002 Italian Grand Prix? You should check it out, it's on the channel. It was absolutely freaking hilarious. A, a massive, massive crash uh, coming into the Ascari chicane. That's right, Raisin. This is most part.
Oh boy. Not that long left in this race. Oh. Big Alfred slowing down for this left hander. Can we get around him? Yes, we can, I guess. No, he's still there. Oh. Ah, there we go. Nice maneuver. A nice pat on the back. Okay, Brawny. We'll still be here. Okay, so we managed to get around Vic Alfred, so we are now in P12. Although Alfred is kind of catching up to us again. I hope that. Ooh! Downshifted way too early. And we're off mowing the lawn again. Somebody's got to do it, I guess. But well, not at the cost of losing positions I think this is the last yes indeed this is the last lap so I need to pick up the pace and try and get around Vic Alford and what's left in the, of this race Jackie Stewart manages to win the Canadian Grand Prix congratulations to him That's the second time Terbeck didn't win a champion a race this season. Which I'm happy to see. On the inside. Oh nah. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. There was no 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 gap there. I tried to go for a gap that didn't exist. So I think we are going to settle for 13. Good enough. Oh, that was the Canadian Grand Prix. Here at Mossport. Managed to somehow drag out a 13th position out of that. It wasn't my best driving yet, but... Not all races can be the British Grand Prix. <laughs> that was the best race I had this season, so far. And after this, we are off to Watkins Glen for the final race of the season. Stay on track. Welcome back, Ronnie. Thank you. Although P13 is nothing to be lauded, really. Well, I guess it kind of is when there are 32 other cars around, but most of them retired so I don't know if I can really take credit for this position so that was the Canadian Grand Prix Jackie Stewart wins the Canadian Grand Prix Francois Sever his teammate manages to 
Finishing second, Joseph for the third, fourth, Ronnie Peterson, fifth, Pedro Rodriguez, and Emerson Fittipaldi, sixth. Just out of pure curiosity, let's see what happened to Turbeck, uh engine, just like in Canada, uh, in uh, Monaco, sorry. <laughs> wow. Uh, stuff happens, I guess. <laughs> ah, boy. His jet engine died, yeah. Okay. Let's move on and see the Drivers' Championship. Obviously, Turbeck has won the championship a long time ago. Jackie Stewart is second, Joseph Wirt third, fourth, Francois Sevin. Fifth, Ronnie Peterson, and sixth, Pedro Rodriguez. So, those are the driver's standings. It's time we move on to the constructors. And we have Turnback winning this championship as well, with Owen Racing Organization in second, Elf Team Tyrrell third, fourth, R March Engineering fifth, Equipe Matra sixth, our gold leaf team lotus and those are that was those are the standings after 10 races moving on now on to the final race of the season the united states grand prix at watkins Glen with a brand new layout a layout i'm not very happy with to be honest i preferred the old one old layout but uh there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> I'm not the one in charge. So, anywho, let's quickly exit the game and make sure we load up the proper cars and textures. Or rather, car shapes and textures. Okay, 11. Ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Hashtag bring back the old day out. Yeah. I fully agree with that. And since we are heading into the final race of the season, I would like to make one final call to you guys to uh, vote for next season's team. Uh, there's a link in the description to the straw poll where you can do so. Uh, so you might want to be quick because once we are finished with the season and the stream that's going to be uh, the vote will end good evening Borkovic or Borkovic um, also might want to check out my social media links and maybe even my discord channel uh, server uh, we, where we could hang out after this or something Anyway, let's get into the final race of the season. <sighs> the US Grand Prix. Such a good track being completely butchered by modern times. Ah oh, well. <laughs> okay, let's move in. And whilst this is loading, I'm going to get myself another beer. So I'll be right back.
I'm back. Yeah, I did. I hear. Yeah, that was. I used to watch that show when I was uh, young. It used to be broadcast on the Discovery Channel. Actually, I think most, if not all, of the seasons are actually uploaded to YouTube. So uh, you can you could check it out there, Bronny, if you want to. It's a really fun show. Well, interesting show. You got a whole bunch of teams, oh, with different backgrounds building uh, robots and having them fight. What is my favorite movie? Uh, uh, best robot? Uh, I think I would go with the house robots. <laughs> those are the best robots because those are the. Uh, be best built robots. Uh, favorite movie? Hmm. I think I would go with uh, Back to the Future just because uh, it's the movie I always want to watch. I watch it at least a couple of times a year. And I mean the entire trilogy, all, all three. All three move all, all three of the movies. Anyway, let's skip forward to qualifying. Uh, speed up a little bit. Put in a little bit of fuel so we can post in a couple of laps. And wait to see a few laps being posted by the AI and then go out ourselves. It is indeed a good show. Okay, let's go out. Really? Uh, this will work. Um, what's happening here? War of the Worlds? I uh, heard of it, never seen it. Unfortunately. Or at least I don't remember seeing it. Might have seen it back in 2005 when I was younger. Doesn't even feel like Watkins Glen aim at. Pua. Words, how do they work? This doesn't even feel like Watkins Glen anymore. Just feels like a completely different track. Oh. That's not how you take that corner.
What on earth is going on here? Why are there a bunch of cars parked right in the middle of the freaking circuit? This used to be the old start to finish street. It's about the only thing they kept in one piece out of the entire track Uh, Jason, I'm trying to drive, if you've not noticed. Usually when I pay attention to chat, I mess up quite horribly. Pausing the video every five seconds would, or rather the race every five seconds, would not make this a very interesting stream, I don't think. Indeed. Whoa! Did a boop with the matra there. Come on, turn you pig! What background noises? I can't hear anything. Well, then it's probably the birds outside my window. Actually, it's getting a little bit chilly, so I guess I should close the window. So, be back in just a sec. 
Oh yeah, like now I can hear it. Those are different birds. Now it should be a little bit quieter. Okay, let's speed through the rest of this qualifying session. Go to the read, starting from P31. Ooh, and Turbeck is not in anywhere near the front row. <laughs> That's a miracle, I guess? Perhaps? I don't know. My voice is racking up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Picking my microphone by doing that. All right, let's get stuck in. Yeah, he will be in the race. F for my voice, F for my voice then. Hello Jorge, welcome to the stream. So Jackie Stewart starting from pole with Ronnie Pearson in second, Jackie X third, fourth is Francois Sevet, Joseph fifth, sixth, Claire Gazzoni, seventh, Terbeck, uh, which is interesting, Mario the eighth, ninth, Chris Amon, tenth, John Surtees, Danny Holm, eleventh, uh, uh, Ganley, twelfth, thirteenth, Pedro Rodriguez, 14th, Tim Schenken, 15th, Fitty Poundy, 16th, Mike Donahue. Yeah, I started off in the McLaren, but the game keeps uh, putting me into the Yardley BRM. I'm not sure why. Uh, uh, but I've I've not been able to. I mean, I'm I, I'm picking. McLaren, but the game is keeps putting me in the Yardley BRM for whatever reason. Uh, it, this has happened since Austria, after Austria, actually. I whoa, whoa, what the <laughs> car just decided. That was interesting. Okay, already up in P20. That's quite nice. Oop. 
down in P21 now as Dave Charlton managed to overtake us. But we might yet be able to get back at him. I see black smoke up ahead so someone is going to retire soon. And Pierre Beltran overtakes us as well. The man with whom we had a very good battle in at the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. The other is now looking for a way to get around. Let's not make it easy for him. As we start lap two here. Not today, buddy, not today. Oh, going wide. Damn it. Okay, we are on lap three now. which is putting a lot of pressure on me. Come on, turn it. Ah. Damn, overseer. Underseer, sorry. Stay on track, stay on track.
I don't really seem to be able to break away from uh, the other mage and I don't really seem to be able to catch up to Van Lennep up, up ahead either I don't know if I'm really happy about that but it's not like I, there's much I can do about it at this point just need to hope that the AI will do something stupid as it usually does and eventually be able to gain a few more positions I managed to keep it pointing in the correct direction but at the cost of a position The Adam is just now pulling away. I don't think I'll be able to catch up, unfortunately. I should have bricked a little bit too early for this right hander. Can't seem to find my breaking point. Try to leave it for a little bit later. Coming next lap. Chris Amon looking at a, an opportunity to pass and he's through. However, we make contact and I lose control of the car. Oh boy, that was a right mess. Drop back down to P30. Still, it's quite impressive that on lap 5, one quarter of the way through the race, there are still more than 30 cars on the track. That's really impressive. Less so are my driving skills. But then again, my driving skills were never good, so. Okay, I think I can leave it for even later. Thank you. 
Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot. Lost it. Coming out of that corner and we fall down to. Oh! Hey there. Getting it all sorts of messed up. And there comes Terra back to lap us. Go with the wind, my friend. Go with the wind. We're on lap 7 out of 20 now. And shockingly enough, there are still 31 cards left on the track. That's. That's got to be a record. Huh. Oh. Back end wants to step out. Thankfully, I was able to catch it. As I lock up. The front coming into that right hander. Uh, coming in a little bit too hot. Uh. Oh boy. Okay, chat. Chat's gone quite quiet. Eight out of twenty. Very, very slowly catching up to Pete Lovely. someone has retired so that means we shall be moving up into P29 sweet and it looks like I'm running out of fuel did I forget to put fuel in the car again I probably did Thank you. 
think I might have forgot to put fuel in the car. So I will have to go into the pit and fix that. Luckily, the pits around this track aren't bugged, so that's not really an issue. Ganley is out of the race as well, so that's P28 for us. Oh, and that's one of the Tyrrells trying to overtake us. Ooh, no. Damn it. And Geese Van Lennep is now also out of the race. Just when I was praising the AI for holding up so well. Well, they're still holding up quite well, I would say. Anyway, I think we are going to pit at the end of this lap. Get in a little bit more fuel. So we can finish this race. And that's a Ferrari behind us, trying to get around. I'm not going to hold it up. Hello, Adrian. Okay, time to pit. some fuel in the car and we are back in the race P25 and very far behind Pete Lovely so this is going to be quite difficult to catch back up to him given that we have only have half a race left pardon but I am going to try obviously
Okay, we are about to be lapped by what looks to be a McLaren and a Brabham. The McLaren we should be in, incidentally. But the McLaren, the game decided not to put me in for whatever reason. Okay, my tunnel here is out of the race, so that's going to be P24 for us. At some point. Ooh, going wide. But, managed to keep it in one piece. And there we have it, a blue flag. I'll keep here at, at the side here. Okay, so we're up in P24 now. And we've our, a bunch of cars are with us now. Trying to lap us. All right, up in P twenty four now. Steady. catching up to Pete Lovely but I don't think that's going to be enough given how far ahead he is oh. a bit wide coming out of that right hander the formal final corner of this track before they butchered it Third gear for the right hander. Pardon, now back up into fourth. Oh, Chris Amon is out of the race. So that's going to be P23 momentarily. And there's an STP closing in from behind. He's trying to lap us. I'm going to let it through. Come on, go! Really? You needed me to stop before you could get around me. The track is not wide enough for you I'm not sure Ronnie and even if I do I'm probably going to stream something else I need to take a break from this Too much of the same thing isn't too good. I don't want to get some sort of an overload. Okay, and uh, Danny Holm is also out, so that's going to be P22. Oh, 
or well, overload is not the uh, proper term here. Uh, I think what I what I'm trying to say is uh, over. I don't know. My brain keep freezes, keep freezing up. I think of the word, and by the time I want to say it, I forget it again. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Oh, and Ari Pescarol is also on, so that's P21. Momentarily. Okay, so that's P21 on lap 15. Not much left of the race. And therefore not much left of the season. So for any new viewers out in the... Out watching this... Don't forget to vote for next season's team. There's a link in the description for that. Also, if you enjoyed the stream, leave a like. Su subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you get notified of future live streams. You might also want to check out my other, other, you might also want to check out my social media, like a talk. Links to those are in the description as well. And why not join the Discord server as well? There is a link in the description for that as well. So, that. End of the shill. That's enough shilling for one live stream. As much as I hate doing it, YouTube's algorithm pretty much forces me to have to do it, so I'm kind of sorry. But that's life, I guess. Oh boy. I think I'm a couple of laps down, so this race is not as long as it might seem.
Nope. Come on. If I'm not mistaken, this is the penultimate lap for us. As my voice cracks up again. <laughs> oh. I really need to learn to avoid climbing that curb up the at the outside there. Whoa. Who let loose on the traffic? Come on. Who let the traffic doors... Traffic flood doors open. Jeez Louise. Oh, and that's Terbeck coming to lap us. So this is our final lap, actually. Race, our race cut short by one lap. But to be honest, I don't mind. I'm more than ready to have this race and have this race over as well as the season. It hasn't gone all that well. Come on! Seriously. The season hasn't gone too well for us. For Oliver Higgs. For anyone really. Except for Terbeck. He's been pretty much dominating the entire season. Even though in real life he was a pretty, pretty much a no name. A no one. So that is the US Grand Prix done and dusted and so is the 1971 Formula 1 World Championship. Let's get back to the pit, check the final results and we'll end the stream there. Well first we'll check the straw poll results obviously. Arms are aching, especially my wrists. <laughs> if this is how my hands feel after eight hours, I I don't want to think about what it's going, what they are going to feel after once I start my when I'll do my twenty-four hour race. <laughs> the season to forget and screw Trebek. <laughs> I guess. Battery. What's with a battery? That's a good Metallica song actually. Ooh. 
Whoa! Someone hit me from behind and what? Oh! Stop hitting me! Let's push, push Peterson out of the way. And that Ferrari. And we're in. Oh. I'm sorry. So that is the end of the US Grand Prix. Obviously Brent Trebek won, won the US Grand Prix with Jackie Stewart in second, Jackie X. Third, fourth, Claire Regazzoni, Mario on 35th and Francois Silver finished in sixth. Uh, 19 people actually managed to complete the race, which is quite something, actually even more. Uh, 21, including myself, although Franc uh, Francois Mazet did uh, retire due to brake problems. But overall, that's pretty uh, good. I've never seen so many AI finish in a race. Yeah, sure, go ahead, Jason. As we wrap up the video and the season. You can ask away. So, the driver standings are as follows. Brent Trebek wins the 1971 Drivers World Championship with Jackie Seward in second. Joe Siffert third, fourth uh, was Francois Sevin, Ronnie Peterson fifth and Pedro Rodriguez sixth. The other people with who have scored points during the season are Howden Ganley, Mario Andretti, Chris Amon, Oliver Higgs, ourselves, obviously, Raina Weissel, Jackie X, Jean-Pierre Beltois, Gis Van Lennep, Claire Regazzoni, Nani Galli, Emerson Fittipaldi, Tim Schenken, Rolf Stommel, and Mark Donahue. So those are all the people who have scored points. Yeah. How would I rate this season? Uh, I think I would give it a stinky out of 10. <laughs> Alright, so do, that's the driver standings. Let's move on to the constructors. Obviously, Trembeck wins the constructors championship as well with Elf Til Team Tyrrell in second. Owen Racing Organization, which somehow became our team in the latter half of the season. Uh, is in third, so I, I guess that's good. Uh, March Engineering fourth, fifth Scuderia Ferrari and Equipe Matra sixth. The other teams to score points are Gold Leaf Team Lotus, uh, Netherland Thirties, Motor uh, Brabham Motor Racing Development, Eiffelland Thirties, and Penske Racing. Best moment this season. The entire British Grand Prix. <laughs> I, I'd say that was the best moment. The entirety of the British Grand Prix. Worst? Uh, pretty much any race in which I had to retire. So Monaco. Uh, Actually, I think the worst was uh, uh, retiring at the German Grand Prix on the final lap. That was quite annoying. So that... Uh, the 1971 Formula 1 season done and dusted. Next week, next Saturday, we'll do the we'll start the 1972 season. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. With pleasure, Jason. Uh, so before we actually go, I go. Let let me check out the uh, results, the poll results. Okay. Let me give it a refresh. 26 people have voted. Okay, so let's go in. 
and let's check out the results. Quite uh, curious to see what they are. <laughs> I scrolled down real quickly. I want to see the winning team at uh, last. So we have Dan Volcano Racing Team with one vote, uh, Eiffelland with one vote, Martini Racing with one vote, JPS Team Lotus one vote, Brab Brabham Motor Racing Development one vote, Equip Matra two votes, uh, Marlboro BRM four votes, Yardley McLaren five votes, and Scuderia Ferrari wins with 10 votes. So next season we will be driving for Ferrari. Looking forward to that. Hopefully uh, 1972 will be uh, a better uh, season for us. Uh, uh, 1971 was really not very kind to us. And let me quickly delete the straw poll. So that's the uh, end of the live stream and of this season. Oh boy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the stream. Uh, thank you for joining in. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you did as well. Uh, I might be streaming something tomorrow, but it's not going to be F1 Challenge VB and it's not actually going to be anything racing. I want to give my hands and feet a, uh, a little bit of a rest. Uh, I'm quite <laughs> sore after all that racing two days in a row. You're all welcome. I'm glad you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, it uh, signals to me that yeah. even though it's maybe a little bit of a more difficult watch, people still are interested in the series. So <laughs> that's good because it it that makes my job a lot easier this way. So yeah. Once again, thank you for joining in. And I'll catch you all next Saturday. So, yeah. Well, as I said, I might stream something tomorrow, but it's not, it's not, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that is it. Bye.